one and welcome. I, I was waiting for an appropriate time to switch over because with these two lovely guests of mine, let's just say we're going to have a fun time today. So anyways, welcome and hello. This is WizKids Paint Party 3 and we're going to be having some fun taking those red slots and turning them green. I was like, which color are we doing? Hold on. Uh, I am your host, Vimuse, and with me today I have two fantastic guests. I have Eugenio Vargas and Brian Gray, two faces who might be familiar to you. In fact, I hope they are, uh, because they are both involved with the d d stream Rivals of Waterdeep, as well as a fantastic game called The Motherlands. So uh, keep in mind, Rivals is going to be celebrating their 100th episode on Sunday. So that's in three, no, weeks. Oh, in three, in three weeks. weeks. Oh, in three weeks. I thought it was next. Cicero was telling confused, me something else. So I think we've confused several I, people. Yeah, about Cicero that. was You're not the first. <laughs> and you certainly won't be the last. So, so they will be celebrating their 100th episode <laughs> soon. And uh, we just found out that Motherlands got picked up for a season three. Congratulations. And Kickstarter is still you. kicking around. Uh, so we're all done with the Kickstarter. So now we're going to start okay. writing the book to fulfill so the Kickstarter. Go. So that's done. We'll be having mm -hmm. uh, like backer kit and pre-order stuff up pretty soon. Fantastic. So if you want more information about everything I just threw at you, you can type in exclamation point rivals and get a nice little link to go there. You can type in exclamation point motherlands and get a nice little link to go there. And for these two lovely gentlemen, do exclamation point jazzy for you and type an exclamation point herb for Brian and you can get their Twitter as well as their Twitch. Cause I gotta tell you, not only are they great at playing in RPG games, they also do these other fantastic streams that I personally enjoy joining and watching and hanging out in the chats. And I think you will too. Uh, so that all being said, another fun tidbit about these two wonderful guests is they have never painted a miniature before. <laughs> notice the sips <laughs> so um we're gonna be having some fun walking them through this is going to be a true beginner style step by step if you are an experienced mini painter or you have you know some mileage underneath your brush by all means you are more than welcome to go off the cuff and share but what we're going to be doing we're going to be using the red slot paint night kit from D, &D nolzer's marvelous miniatures now we took a look at this kit before with Greg and Shelley for the first paint party. And we did the classic red, like the red slot kit says. But what I wanted to have everyone realize <laughs> is that is. you can, take, <laughs> thank you. You can take these and actually get a heck of a lot more mileage out of the paints that are left. Now, the reason why we're taking the same red slot mini and turning it green, because yes, there is an official green slot mini from the D&D Nolzer's Miniatures line. But this way, for those who missed the first Paint Night Kit event, they could snag a red slot kit and still participate with us and just end up with a green one and they can go back and get the red one and watch the other stream later. Uh, but should you have other things with you, uh, I heard someone might be doing a uh, Banderhob, a uh, Bollywog or a turtle or something along those lines. So if you have other miniatures of a more reptilian nature, by all means, what I'm going to be showing you here will absolutely help you out with painting these other critters. And by the by, because the Dire Troll paint guide had such a good response, uh, I made a point this time to create a step-by-step -step tutorial for you as well. So if you go to uh, the chat again and type an exclamation point instructions three that way they coordinate with the you know hashtag and everything like that somebody do it somebody do you it will clean. be able to on, get you'll be able to get <laughs> <laughs> you'll be able to get a link that when you click it it'll automatically download that tutorial for you so that way if you're one of those people who like to watch but also need the reinforcement of seeing words in front of you you can have that as well and then finally don't forget we're going to be doing progress checks so if you want to join us for the progress, all you're going to need to do, let's do a quick little switcheroo, is you're going to go, <laughs> Brian, <laughs> perfect. Um, oh, I need to move your uh, windows. Uh, we're going to <laughs> go to, woohoo. Uh, we're going to go to basically, Amazing. pardon me while I toggle. So we're going to go to using the hashtag WK paint party three. Okay. This means that you will be able to, this takes no time at all. This means you'll be able to go into Twitter. Make sure you use that hashtag. Look, there's Brian. And you can see some magic oh, okay, behind the scenes. And what we'll do is when we need some drying times is we are going to then go to the submission check that you see me hopping over to here because, you know, importance of 
getting everyone set up. There we go. Beautiful. That should take care of it now. Um, so then we'll show off the screen. We'll show off everyone <laughs> and what they're doing. So if you want to make sure you have that going, make sure that hashtag is in there. Make sure you tag at uh, Wizards D and and that you also tag WizKids on social media, especially for Twitter. That's the focus one that we're going to be looking at. Now let's talk about the kit itself. I'm sure you got the kit and in the kit, you've got this fellow. This is your official miniature that comes in the kit, the red slot, even though he's going to be green like the friend right down there. Uh, along with that, you get a little water pot. Now, what I'm going to recommend is if you can, it sometimes helps to have two different things of water. So if you don't have two different things of water, but guess what? You have this lovely handy dandy blister. You can put some water in here in the blister and keep some water in here in the pot because you want to have water for rinsing and water for thinning paints. If you thin paints with your rinse water, you are going to muddy your paints. This is something you've probably heard me say before. Uh, so keep that little bit in mind as well. Now, as for what's going on here with the blister, uh, you're also going to find these three wells. Okay. And these we can use as a nice little convenient palette. So we'll be mixing some paints on each of these blisters. If we end up mixing more than just three, don't worry. You can go back in with a paper towel and wipe clean one of the wells and start fresh. You also have in this kit, two brushes. You have a multi-purpose brush and you have a details brush. I will be telling you which brush you're going to want to have in hand. You do want to make sure that whenever you switch colors that you rinse your brushes. Okay. So keep that one in mind too. And along with that, you get all the paints that you're going to need for this. <laughs> Did you just do antenna? Um, you're going to want to make sure you have all the paints ready to go. What I have done, and this is a tip, thank you to Michael Mordor on his Twitch channel after he did a fantastic Dire Troll tutorial with that Dire Troll Paint Night kit. Um, if you want to, you can actually snip these apart because you'll get them in a row. Uh, but if you snip them apart, it actually makes it a lot easier to shake them up. And then you can take the paint you want to work with without having a big strip in front of you. So just a little future reference for those of you working with that. And then to everyone who is in the chat, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. If you have questions. What I'm always going to ask is that you type in caps, you know, very much bard style, type in caps, question, and then have your question to follow. If you just throw a question out there, chances are I may not catch it in time. Uh, so do that. And that sort of gets me keyed in and ready to go. So you have your 12 paints, your two brushes, your blister with three wells, your extra water well, and then you have your little water pot. And of course you have the infamous little black disc for those of you who are used to miniature painting that we'll put on at the end. Uh, and I always recommend super glue for that. And then we're going to be painting our red slad green. And here is our hopeful end result for you. All right, so this is the one that I did a few weeks ago, and you can see his picture right oh, there come too. come on. Oh, okay. Hey, you had Greg and Shelly saying the same thing, and theirs came out just fine. So, what do you say? You guys ready to uh, jump to the challenge and get started? No, no, okay, let's go for it. Absolutely. <laughs> I wish you had oh. seen, as you were talking about all the things about the wells I, and the water I and saw, here and water I in saw. I'm like pouring one in, and then you're like, and then these three, we're going to mix paints in. And I'm like, well, shit, one of mine has water in it. So now I'm pouring it from one to the, it, it's going to be great. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> I, I, It'll I, be I brought grand. the entire roll of paper towels because I'm Nothing just like, I'm there's, Water and yeah. paper towels are definitely helpful supplies. Um, so, so ready. Chaos, absolutely, Maverick. We are looking at some fantastic chaos, and I cannot wait. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our mini. And as you can see, this fellow has a lot of fun little grooves and details mm -hmm. and all that going on. We're going to focus on those first. If you watch the Red Slide Paint Party, some very similar techniques, except obviously we're changing it up with the colors. So, the first thing we're going to want in hand is the details brush. And this is a Vallejo detail brush that comes in the kit, branded WizKids. Fine detail. See? Da -dum. And it has a nice, narrow, pointed tip on it. And what you're going to do, you too. <laughs> like, 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 like I, I, well, you know what? I am not surprised at all. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to first start <laughs> with, <laughs> with black, red. And by the way, if you want your friends to join us, by all means, encourage them to come over and check things out on YouTube or Twitch. We'll be happy to have them join us in it's the not chat. Focusing. Sorry, you don't get to see it's it. It's not focusing. Are you focusing? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> So black red. Um, so you can take your black red and shake it up if you haven't already. Oh. 
and then just carefully open it. Now, if you have a miniature oh, whoops, paint holder, that's the other one. Hold on a second. by oh. all means, you can use your miniature paint holder. I am not using one. I am working off the fact that uh, not everyone, especially for beginners, will have that as a supply. Mm -hmm. Carefully open the lid because these things can sometimes spit like a llama. Um, but carefully open it up. Did I lose you already? I wasn't ready. Go, go. go okay, go, go, go. And um, <laughs> all right. So you see, gentlemen, this smiling grin he has going on here. Uh-huh. All right, how it goes all the way from over to this side, back to the other side, very much oh, like Joker. Yeah. So Here what we're going to do is we're going to get the black red into the little side bits here, oh my. down into okay. the mouth. Don't worry about covering the teeth. That's actually okay. We'll take it into there, okay. covering the teeth, and go back up and around to the other side and doing that just with the black red. That is our first step. Okay. So we're going to do that. So, so what you want to do is when you put paint on the brush, you actually don't have to dip the brush all the way in. Just you have to do more than I did. <laughs> oh, phrasing. I'm going to have to watch phrasing here. Uh, <laughs> just put a little dot oh, it's never at gonna, the very okay. end of your brush is really all you need. A little will go a long way. And then what I'm going to do is I will start applying this black red into the mouth. And if you go a little bit over, that's okay because we're going to be applying another paint oh, to sort of okay. oh. like a coloring book edge things. So right now the goal is to get the black red into and over the teeth and just all over like, the all teeth around is that totally yep. contour. Yep, into that whole mouth. And sometimes what I do is I'll Ooh, take the I... base of my hand and I will just sort of blot a little bit of that paint off if it looks a little bit like there's too much. Like if it's a big glob of paint, you don't want to go in with that. Oh, that's okay. I'm gonna go from just the tip of the container because that's I don't trust myself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I have a feeling we're going to be dancing around some interesting word choices tonight. Oh, goodness. Mm. I forgot but to ask, what's our, what's our rating? Rating is PG-13. Oh, good, because okay. I already said shit once. So do you, yeah. I was going to say, do you want <laughs> yep. do you want to use the, the, the F word this hour? No, I, mean, not I think you can get this. Hour. Okay, just, okay. <laughs> you know, just so we can parcel it we out. Get one. <laughs> All right. Y'all are trouble. Okay, All right. So you knew that so when you invited me. I, I knew exactly. Let's now, put it this that way. looks like something's wrong. No, it looks like he got <laughs> fine. <laughs> He's funny. <laughs> hang on. Hang on. Like, I'm only like halfway the, through this mouth. It's like you I don't think you the, all understand my tip. Like when you got the plaque tablets from mm -hmm. the dentist yes. and yes, like you open like your that. mouth, like this is what's going on. This is not okay. Yep. <laughs> but it's going to look interesting in the beginning. And then little by little, we're going to go through the process and clean it up. I purposely put this together with beginners in mind. Okay. And for, I guess for just cleaning it, like, do you, do you just dip the brush to clean or oh, do you no, like wipe no. it off on something or? Nope. You're going to go over with a darker paint. That'll help kind of okay. clean it up a little bit. And you'll see what I mean. Um, when you used to color in coloring books, were you the one who would, or did you ever see <laughs> if you weren't, you know, the kids who would take the crayon and go around the inside of the line first to kind of help frame in the color and then go around with more color. Why are you coming for me like, like this, that. What, what I'm not coming, like I'm this? using that wow. as an example. Okay. I mean, if you're taking it personally, <laughs> I know something a little more about you tonight. Well. Well then, like here, I purposely went out of the line so you can see what happens. Oh, when how we dare, that point. okay. How dare I, what? Oh no, that's not okay. Imperfection okay. Oh no! <laughs> Fine. Are we gonna oh, get God. another like clip reel for you? Your think, first mini uh, thing? Probably. Uh, that, I, yeah. I, excellent. Okay. I think I went over the excellent. teeth, though. Wonderful. Oh, I definitely I went over too. the teeth. I went over the teeth. Oh, That's the fang. Oh, no. Okay. You absolutely okay. What we... You can go over the teeth. Okay. See how that all done? It kind of looks like we're, kind of no. like the Joker. Yeah, it sort of right? looks something like that. Yeah. 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 You want all it to right. look like the Joker. So as long as we're looking like the Joker, you can now rinse your fine details brush. All right. Okay. There. Now my thing will focus. Give that brush a clean. There you go. Is that, and okay, I, I feel like I didn't get his lower lip. Should I get his lower if lip? If you want to paint in the lower lip a little bit more, you could do that. Okay, great. Kind of like you're putting in like a nice little lipstick, lip gloss on. See, now, they, um, just tell me it's all makeup. That I can probably do a little better. Well, that's what I figured with your yeah. theater background. That's all, I'll flip over to a... <laughs> oh, should we, oh, I got, oh God, hold on. Yeah. yeah. Oh, did I not do enough? Maybe I was, I was if going for a very thin, more. I was going for a very thin lip. If you, you know, want no, to give them fuller lips. Slotten has no fillers, no fillers. No fillers. Okay, no, we're no good. fillers. Okay. No. So we're not gonna go into fillers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I appreciate that though. The natural look, good for it's, that slot. 
Body oh, right? and positivity. I'm into right. it. There you go. Absolutely. Totally that. So you're going to rinse that Meanwhile, brush? my slot's like, give me lips! Give me that fillet! Right. Give me that. It's like gold, it's the Goldie Hawn slot. Um, that's Come a on. reference. <laughs> that's Goldie Hawn. <laughs> there we go. Okay. All right. If you guys are good, we're then going to move on to well. using dark sea. <laughs> well, dark sea green. It's the one that looks almost grayish in color. You're going to grab that pot. So oh God, those no, of you painting along. Oh, geez. I've already spilled. Hold on a second. <laughs> this the one? The dark sea green? It wasn't me first. I got it. You got it? Gotta wipe some things off here. I got it. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, I love that people are already cracking up and having fun. That is the point of this evening, folks. You get some painting tutorials, but you also get some of fun on a Friday. (laughs) Question. We have a question. (laughs) What do you do Uh if the paint is too thick? That's a very good question, Squeaky. If your paint is too thick, what you can always do is go to one of those wells in your blister, put in a few dollops of the paint and then taking the brush side uh, put in some water and mix it until it's thinned out to about the consistency I like to do food references so if it's like the consistency of maple syrup then you have it where you need it to be for a good coating consistency for the paint um the dark sea green dark sea green you can carefully open up that one spill it again yes definitely close close your pots between the openings and Sticking with that details brush, so hopefully you rinse that off. Otherwise, this is going to get to look very um, surgical if you don't. Oh, gross. You want to make, sure, <laughs> make sure the red is rinsed. That or you might be going for um, zombie slots. Oh, zombie slots. That zombie could... slots. Oh. Ooh, Ooh. Maybe that could be a paint okay. another down the line. Oh, I kind of like that. Um, so we're going to go in to the dark sea green and kind of a similar idea of what we just did with the mouth. But now we're going to be highlighting all these little grooves that you see, like in the pectoral area. Um, what you're going to do is just, and again, I'm going to be using my hand as a little blotter here, go in and you're going to paint in these really deep recesses and it's okay if you have it going over like I have there. Okay, because okay. what this is doing is it's building shadows up into those really recessed things. And hold on, I need to close something. I thought I put you to bed. I guess not. Bye bye, kitty. There we go. Oh. Uh, not an actual kitty. It was a uh, window I needed to close up. I was keeping open just in case. But just as needy, apparently. Yeah. Pay attention okay, to me. Okay, so the grooves. Okay. So we're supposed yep, to the get into the groove. Get yeah. into the groove. And I'll stop Please there because, you know, DMC yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta watch that one. And you can see I'm going over because what so, we're going to be doing later. Are we doing again. all of these little pectoral Yeah, because I'm, I'm just doing, yep. I'm doing like a mini line all under, yep. but then, okay, all of yep. it. All right. Or you can do I how was, I'm yeah, doing I'm it you. as well. Thin coats of paint. It does not need to be thick, which is I'm why you're seeing me. such a dotting of the paint on the... Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I've i heard the whole, a little goes a long way, but I mm. now but really wow. understand what that means. Yeah, no yeah. kidding. Like, yeah. this is just flowing. Yep. Excuse it me? does a good job. It's flowing. 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 What did you... F. What flowing? Did you, what? I glowing really heard it actually... with a B. I really did. Mm. Oh, no. I was thinking, oh, I thought maybe glowing. Like, you know, like we're yeah, we're not worried about too. conventional <laughs> slot beauty standards here. That's we're, right. No. right. Yes. Right. All yes. slots. Oh, wow. You are all that. gorgeous. <laughs> all right. I'm just quickly going to look at the phrasing. Um, says Maverick, learn the hard way to only paint over those things that can get paint in them. And you're okay with it. Yep. 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 The right, fun so... thing is. Um, I'm trying to. Mm-hmm. Okay, what are we? All right. Still going through this. Oh, so wait, a minute. wait a minute, I missed one. You missed, well, so there's going to be more of doing this. In the grooves and not really the ridges, right? Like. Well, if you get over the ridges, like I purposely did over the ridges too. But you can also do it like, I'm, I am kind of doing it two different ways. You can also do it like this, or you can do it like this because, hmm, uh, I want to be sure that people out there can see the various options they have. So you can have it so it's There's really, as long as you're getting the dark gray, the dark gray, the dark sea gray, I uh, know. Hold on. Dark sea green. Green. Um, <laughs> thank you. <You're> <laughs> Into those grooves, you're good. How is I... this? Oh, this way. Come um, on, focus. That's looking good. Focus, yes, you noodle. Yes, just like El- yep, Elsa has it. really decided to visit today, so uh, it is currently pouring outside. Yeah, I. Oh no. Mine's a little... We're probably gonna get that soon then. A little messy, but. Yep. Yep. 
let Ooh, me I'm see get, here. Wait, I'm get that one too. So, I'm gonna keep doing this, and we're gonna move in beyond oh, just the pecs. Rips. So you'll see there's actually more details underneath the armpit through here. I'm gonna do the same thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yep. Now we're not doing this, this like waddle oh. area, right? The witch area? You can if this, you want like... to. If you wanna do the um the lovely collection of texture <laughs> okay, underneath. Okay, so just a little, okay, see they're just a little just more. Just uh, a little. Right there. Oh God. Again, oh, yeah. Oh, sure, wait a minute. Okay, Plot sure, yeah, all right. Hands. You didn't tell me I needed a jeweler's loop to do this. You told me that. Some people do have special headgear for it so they can see it better. Like those magnifying glasses. They're quite oh, no. fun. Like they make your okay. eyes look massive. I, I almost wish I'd gotten like one of my overhead lights and just like pointed it, <laughs> glaring oh, at my space right now. Um, so, okay. Yeah, it does yeah. help. So we're just gonna go around and basically <laughs> the name of the game is to go around the rest of the slot and start working this into where you see other deep recesses in the okay. slot itself. So I'm making sure I'm getting under the arms. So in that, in that like sort of that little under the carapace on the back kind of thing yep. too, or yep. carapace. Okay. Yeah, well, it does that, kind of. Is that how you say that? I don't. Yes. Know how, is that how you yes. say that? Yes. Yes, that's a good SAT word. So I'm doing the little bit here under the arms. Ah, nope. Oh God, get in there. <laughs> it's all Sorry. going over the. It's all <laughs> going over the edges. Oh, it's, it's okay. It's, it's everywhere. Okay. okay. I um, can't wait to find out what the rest of this is because I feel like. I'm trying to be so careful and it's not gonna matter. And it, it, doesn't, Same. it doesn't, that's just I'm it. really you wondering like be, if we're painting over. Yeah, you, you can be a little bit messy with this because one of the next step actually is gonna help us out here. So now, like you were talking about, Brian, I'm gonna go in and start painting this little back piece. Mm -hmm. Okay. So great. we're painting that back V. I see it. And all y'all who were here for the red slab. Back V, that's different. The back V, right? Uh, all of y'all who were here for the uh, last Red Slad stream, what did I call a certain area that many of you, I think someone turned into a hashtag even after the fact. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so, so once you paint that V in. Are we worried about this little, um, I think my I think my figure has a crack in it. Yeah, you're going to paint down the Great Divide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. And this is why I paired you two together. And it was really yes. Gently, so... gently. Don't mind. Don't mind me. I'm professional. Just, yep. Uh, don't. Yep. No. Just think just warm thoughts. Who knew? Deep breaths. Also, don't hold your breath when you're painting. Or if you do need to steady yourself and hold your breath, do it for a count of ten. Stop and breathe. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that this... is something. Now, I should have... we also do the? It kind of comes up and around. Cheek. Right, it comes up and around the leg, around the it does. like around it does. between yep. the legs here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, it does. Do it does that? do. Okay. Do right. we want what oh, here? How to? Ooh. The under cheek. <laughs> we were just talking. Yes. About. Yeah. The yes, exactly. So you're basically going to wrap it around um, from the great divide to there is this little bit. There. Oops, in the thigh right there. Contouring the cheek. Yeah. Okay. This is basically contouring. I can't think too much about what it is that I'm doing right I now. I don't, no, nope, no, don't, no. Yep, yep. don't overanalyze it, trust you know, me. Think about when, you know, J-Lo wears a dress that's like 100% rhinestones and what mm -hmm. kind of day her costumer has. Oh, Lord. Just imagine, oh. yeah, laying oh, all those down. Like, nope. Oh. Yep. No, no. Okay. Basically, okay, if you so want to enhance it a little bit more with some shadows. All the, okay, uh. so I'm going in there with that and around. <laughs> it's very important that we enhance this area of the slot. It, you know. Uh, Oba Lauren is saying eventually I will do a tutorial for every color of slot. Hey, you never know. I mean, I hear that. Yes. <laughs> Give oh, me wow. a nice black slot. I'll just honestly... dip it in a pot of black clay paper. <laughs> oh, but believe it or not, it'd be more than that. You would start off with black, oh, and you bring in your would. purples and your blues and your dark greens. And okay, now you're okay. Now purples. you're talking. Wait, okay. now you got yeah. me. Purples. Yeah, I'm like okay. All right, so we're contouring yeah. that, and oh, God. so we're contouring the tush. Please forgive me Wait, for what I'm about to do. Just tush a little bit. Okay. Don't oh, okay. So there's a crack. Okay. I see. Yep. All yep. Right. Just, ah. just slightly. Just ever so slightly. I'm actually going to move back up to the shoulders because you can see there are a do couple it. more V's here where the shoulder blades right through here. Okay. So there's one that goes oh, here, the one that yeah, goes yeah, here, yeah, and then now. you have these little slash marks on top. So I'm going to get those as well. Okay. Oh, sure. I like I'm, okay. I feel like I'm fitting the slot for like a superhero costume. Dun, 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 like the contours super are looking slot. like. Yeah. Right? You never know. You never know. Slod by day, superhero by night. <laughs> and 
Now you're into, and I know this because you help out with the hero click <laughs> stuff, Brian. You are into oh, comics and such, correct? I am. How um, did you get pulled? Well, not pulled into it, but what caught your fancy about that? Um, for me, of... it was the it was the stories and the fantasy in a really unique way. Um, I got into a lot more books that were about ensembles and mm -hmm. a lot of books that were. Oh, gee, I have just okay. Well, the slot yes. will forgive me. Um, yes ensembles and a lot of people talk about you know i was a big x-men fan they talk about how the x-men is a metaphor for basically any marginalized group that you can throw at it mm -hmm. even though marvel doesn't handle it very well it still resonated a lot but mostly those stories um like that from marvel and then legion of superheroes from dc were a lot about like found family like the big mm -hmm. super groups coming together yeah. so i kind of resonated with that um oh, cool. and then the story i mean it's just i mean it's cool like who doesn't want to be a superhero right, right. um well and yeah, it was it was a really great medium to tell the story. I'm a big reader, but comics were mm -hmm. kind of just like that extra bit. Oh, there's more on there. Yes, Why do you have so many creases? He doesn't moisturize. Look, he, he, I was just going to say he doesn't moisturize and he's you getting are, up in years. You are unmoisturized and very bothered right. is all I'm going to say. I mean, I'm kind of doing a little bit more um, adding of up here on the back. <laughs> because you're able to get through happening. twice as much as we I'm, are. In like, any every time, well, I, see, every time <laughs> I see a deep crevice, I'm like, well, okay, let me put some if, in there. if you want to be amb ambitious and hit a few more with the crevasses, including the Great Divide, there apparently. <laughs> um, oh, you got his little one of these little spikes yep, back here. I love yep, it. Okay. You can do that because that's nicely and deep set. So it's kind of working around here. I'm going to get over here on this arm. Oh, that is kind of deep. Okay. Well, I like yeah. that. All right. A little ring yeah. around the spiky. Ring around the spiky. So that's really about how you can be saying anything you want about me in chat. I am so focused. I can't. Yeah, I, I'm not even this. looking right now. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, at the various... so better clean it up. So <laughs> the Great Divide has also picked up the crack of chaos. The um... yes. No, <laughs> God, you're terrible, Dan... but yes. Mm, Dan's getting clever. Um... Hi, Dan. <laughs> Heaven forbid. <laughs> Heaven be ever. Stop. Wait, that's so. There we go. Uh, there's some things I'm like, mm mm. <laughs> All They're right. having fun, which is good. The chat should be having fun. So yes, I'm just absolutely. going in, you know, just going in and to the top of the head here. Okay. okay. Just doing these little, um, little... Oh, wow. Those are the... Oh, goodness. Okay. This yeah. Is... Just these little bits. If you this want to, you can. If you don't here. want to, yeah, you don't have like... to. Yeah, like... I want to. It's getting wanna... a whole... I want to do... I want to do... I can do it. I can do it. I want to do it. Let me do it. Oh, God. Okay. Uh... Uh, I think this okay, is just a fun way to sort of gonna, enhance. Okay, that's just yeah. You're just that's just a little like those brows. We're giving you yeah. that nice little that deep V. Yeah. Like you're very angry all the time. Yep. Maybe Actually, a little ridge. Effective. Oh, oh, kind of like okay, a little bit over no, there. No, you also have the little nostrils. You can have fun. Touch with. on the nostrils. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, you get a boop. Too much pain, the though. nostril gets a boop. That's you all. Get it a gets. boop. Yep, boop yeah. the snoot. That's, Snoodle that's, boop. You get a you get a boop. And then let me just quick boop. check something. Did I? Okay, and then I'm gonna give Other you one boop. over that eye yeah. and one over Ethel over that eye. Mm -hmm. I know it looks bad now, but when someone takes a picture of you, it's gonna look gorgeous. Okay, trust mm -hmm. me. You look amazing. Okay. You'll be good, not to worry. Okay. Um, I feel like that's all the super deep. Do you know I mean, what my, I want? My eyes are awful, so that could also and just then, be me. Like I might be. I out. want a drag a race challenge to be painting a mini like your drag look. Ooh. I want to see those queens do this. Oh <laughs> Get down a bit. Yes, that would be interesting to see. I don't know Let's much about here. slods, so I can't imagine Maybe like what cultural what cultural things they would pull from they for their are, drag names. They are quite frankly creatures of chaos. Yep, they come from the elemental or the limbo plane of chaos from limbo. I like yep. that. And they, they They're when nasty. they. Some of them, yeah, I don't remember mm -hmm. what color, but they reproduce red. by implanting you. Is it red? red they reproduce yeah. by implanting you with uh, their spawn, and then it grows mm -hmm. inside of you, as I recall. You have three months, three months to uh, address the tadpole in your body, and then it's like a 2D10 uh, many hours before it emerges, like once it's fully matured. Yeah. They're, they're now, not uh, anything to see. So we can't at. take off and nuke this plane from orbit, I guess? <laughs> I'm gonna do a few little bits of. I feel like that might here. have some um, 
further reaching ramifications, mm -hmm. nuking the plane of chaos. Oh, fine. Yeah, you might run into some issues there. <laughs> and you won't let me nuke anything. Well, that is decidedly the not true. <laughs> Let's see here. Um, Just not many major planes, you know. No major planes. And then you have the, uh, what is it, control gems in them? Right. Although this and... one doesn't seem to, which begs the no, question. No, no, no. No, Who's no, no. got it? Uh -oh. I don't know. It's a good question. And you'll also notice here in the thighs, you have these muscles. Oh, yeah. So you can go oh. in and do that, too. I feel like, I mean, we are getting, I, I don't know. I had a coworker who did bodybuilding competitions and talked about, um, he was already fairly dark skinned, but then talked about how they still like spray painted the, mm -hmm. and we saw a picture of him before and after. And it was, it's I mean, it alarming. was very detailed and defined, but I'm like, you yeah. are basically glowing bronze. That is, yeah. that is weird. Yeah, Wild. very much so. So I do a little bit here. I also do a little bit here at the um, inner elbow. You don't have to if you don't want to. This is sort of the little bit of extra touches. I'm going over this with something else. How much will this be, like, how much will this stand out? Or is it really more of a, like, establishing it will, thing? It's establishing things. It will mute and go into the body. Because this is basically like a base layer. Or, sorry, it's, it's like... um shading before you go into the base layer mm -hmm. and i have found with beginners it really helps them kind of get a feel for the details in the mini ahead of time by doing this it's like you've done this before yeah uh, maybe here and there <laughs> you know and again for those of you in the chat if you want to there are those lovely instructions which if you type in exclamation point oh, instructions get... three uh, it'll pull it up for you there, okay you to I'm move your fingernails me. out of the way of your thigh for like two could seconds. You, could you be a darling and do that? The claws are fun to work around. I will say that. And by fun, I mean <laughs> they are tricky. Oh, God. Not that. Okay, wait. Does it have a little thing in them? Oh, it kind of does down there. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. No. I, 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 well. Okay, I don't want to do that. I'm going to break his fingernail off. I'm not going to do that. The worst part yeah, is like, I know what my leg looks like. And I'm like, well, it's... Yeah, okay. That's it. All right, fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm also going to do a little bit between But hey, the now toes. we're learning how to paint our legs so that they look like this. Little slots. chicken feet. And yes, there are four toes on one side and only three toes on the other. <laughs> the official art. That is how they are. It's how they're depicted. Interesting. Remember? Okay. Chaos. Chaos. I mean. So, just a little FYI there. Oh my God, there really are. Yeah, they're real. I'm not making this up. Oh, get I... back here. Maybe down. Got caught on the rigging. Yeah, All right. Oh. Same thing. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey. Hey. Oops, I gotta put it over here so it's on the screen. There we go. Okay, hold on. I'm getting my I'm getting my chicken chicken feet here. Your chicken feet? Bark a bark. There you go. That's looking good, huge. And there's the front. Wait, over here. Okay, wait a second. All right. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Should we do between the toes? It looks like you're doing now. Yeah. A little bit between the toes. I'm hoping it will get. I'm hoping it will get, like, model out later. But yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yep. it's you know. And you can even go so far if you want to in the like knuckles. I'm, it's like I'm tailoring oh. it, like. Contouring. It's like contouring, really. Yeah, like I'm fitting it for. I'm fitting it for a paint suit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you hold still. Wait. Hold still, like it's gonna move on me. You, sometimes they do. Okay, so I think I will. Okay. Oh, I need to get a little bit more over here. Uh, wait. If you want to, you don't have to. There we go. That's too. So it looks, you know, very cartoonish at this point. Right there. Let me see what the chat's saying. <laughs> Night at the museum moment when I'm painting the minis is Lauren Urban. There you go. Yeah, you got it, bud. That's looking yeah. good. Yes. Oh, wait, we wanted to do the knuckles. I forgot. I can do that. Yep. Yeah, yep. You can do the knuckles, too. All right. Get that Adding knuckles. that to the thread. My brush. Oh, the knucks. Oh, goodness. I, mm. <laughs> yes, definitely get those knuckles. Where's the big pot that I just dunked this whole thing in? Is that? No. Okay. No. <laughs> maybe. I'm kidding. Maybe. Dunk. Dunk. I'm mostly maybe I'm kidding. kidding. Like, I'm just going to make a chocolate slot. I'm just going to go, like, uh -huh. temper some chocolate. It'll be fine. Uh-huh. This is tasty. Slot pops. Slot mm -hmm. pops! Huh. 
I wouldn't mind doing that, like like being like a D and D confectioner or a or like a proper D and D like tavern owner, bartender kind of thing. I would totally do mm-hmm. that. Yeah, Absolutely. yeah, definitely. Alrighty, so if anyone wants to have some fun and start sharing what their uh, yes, please their uh, slots are looking like right now, here's your here's your little heads up. Take a picture, type in WK Paint Party Three in Twitter. Make sure you tag, and uh, we'll take a look in a couple minutes at how everyone is doing. Yeah. Uh, but right now we want this paint to dry just a little bit. Because if we try and go in, we're going to start mucking things together and muddying the paint colors. Mm. Uh, But as you can see, it does have a rather cartoonish feel to it by putting this into those recesses. There's actually a little bit more I want to cut in there. Yes, look at you. Yeah, see? You Mm -hmm. both did a great job with this step. You got it. All right. You got it. All right, I'm going to take a picture for for this. Yeah, I only have... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Yep, That's... go for it. Ah! Camera. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? It's another one That's for the real. Like, Someone clip that. Yep. <laughs> painting, painting, what we call that, the painting screens. <laughs> you got it? You got it? Oh, I like the, the, the especially the artist, the, the you've got the artist uh, holding the paintbrush down. Yes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Mm-hmm. Lovely. All right. We're going to switch over and take a look at what's going on with uh the twitter submissions if that works for the two of you while you get your pictures going heck yeah so here we go let's see if we gotten any submissions yet but we still have brian let me refresh the page Brunch. brunch oh here we go brian is looking really good there oh that's great wait what and is this a picture wait a minute hmm? oh 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 i see <laughs> it's another weird crop so all we could see was the olive oil <laughs> Oh yeah, the next one. All of oh, yeah, the next yes. one. I think is just, just the paint, the, the jar, oil. pickle jar. <laughs> but he's working on something else using similar principles. I think that's Love fantastic it. for self. Wonderful. Uh, and then we have the thing that went live. And oh, we had the. Here's what they looked like before Ooh. they got their hands on them. Well, and then we got feet before. There's our. There you go. There's before. a before. <laughs> okay, so it's going to work like that. If you get that hashtag in there. I'm working off the latest ones. Do one more refresh in case we have some more submissions. We do not. I'll have another one just a second, but I'm not there yet. There we go. Mm. Uh, But that's how it's going to work. You'll basically get to see the progress happening when I go over to this particular screen. Uh, But now we're going to do. You doing okay there, Yuge? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, We're going to go back into doing some more with this. So. Next step, we're going to move over to that multi-purpose brush, and we're also going to work on thinning paints, which we had uh, talked about how you want to have some extra water to thin your paint. Closing this paint pot before I spill it again. Yes, close the paint pots before they spill. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add just a little bit of water, like a couple drops worth. Very carefully. Loop. There we go. Loop into one of the wells. And then I'm going to take refractive green which is this one and if for some I reason because i was tweeting you were you were not paying the... <laughs> oh. i feel like i'm back in the classroom and i'm loving it um, <laughs> you might also, have I'm, I'm a pot up, that says like... reflective green that has been um something that was going back and forth with the diary troll so just in case if it says reflective green it's the same paint notice the number and that'll get okay. you going um Got it. what is today's libation you know that's a good question because brian you had a Ooh. lovely colored libation um earlier yes so uh, this us. oh yeah uh so this is based on a cosmo but instead i used uh melon middle curry you may also know it as midori um and orange juice <laughs> and lime juice so it's Ooh, that sounds um, lovely. i was so ready vodka. for it to be like instead i used mountain dew wow <laughs> give me now- some credit now, see, Brian has Absolutely not. Never, ever. Streams. <laughs> if you like to cook, go check out Brian because he's got lovely yeah. cooking streams. I enjoy watching them. So what I'm going to do now, and let me shift right, my phone out of the way. attention this time. All right. So I have a little bit of water here in this well. I'm actually going to take the uh, bottom portion of my brush to pull out some of the refractive green. Okay. And I'm going to bloop it into, professional term, um, bloop it into the other well right next to the water. Like this. We'll say like three scoops full. 
into its own into well. its own well yeah so we'll, we'll drop her two yep into that and then into that and then make then sure what? you wipe your handle off with a little bit of paper towel because oh, no. otherwise that's gonna okay. get messy real fast oh. on you these uh... so we open with care like so all right and then i'm gonna go to because this is the multi-purpose brush so you can see it's a little bit of a bigger brush bristle i'm gonna go to where there is the water and just sort of use that to scoop some water into the other side here so okay, it's a little so bit more controlled a, just a tiny bit of the refractive yeah. i did about eight pulls of water of water yep and then you just start mixing it together to thin the paint so that it acts more like i said before maple syrup and you can either use the um, brush itself <laughs> like me or what i would recommend is using the other end of the brush but i'm just going to rinse this because what you don't want to do is load your brush up to the point that it actually starts getting to the silver because mm. then it's going to start gumming up your brush and actually causes the bristles to push apart and then it fans and then it's not fun um, so you can mix with the other end of your brush which i'm going to do now like so and that mm -hmm. is moving around like syrup for me and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start applying this and this is gonna go all over the body okay Got it. where is the body well we're gonna find out sure that's probably syrup like mm-hmm I... mm. mm. Let me move this back a little bit. So that would be a distraction. I think I need to add some more so, like syrup light. Um, oh, uh, uh, also, if you want to test on your wrist when you go to paint it in, it should flow nicely. By just barely I'm touching it. I'm afraid I might wrist. have too much. I'm afraid I might have too much flow. Too much flow you can always oh no um, this is fine yeah 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 you're good okay so what i'm going to do with the refractive green is i'm actually going to we're going to like what i said before with the coloring book i'm going to go to where the mouth is and i'm going to just take this green and if you feel you have more control with the details brush you can do that i'm going to go around the mouth like this and you might find that easier to do okay. with the details brush but i am just sticking with the multi-purpose and I think I'm going to have to name this slot Kermit. There's just no way around it. Oh, sure. Why are there so many slots without rainbows? Without oh, rainbows. No. Let's see. This is sort of getting it in. But it also helps clear up those spots where if you went a little overboard with the black red, it cleans it up for you. And you just cover nice the it. brush along the red, the red and the green. And like here where I did that purposely, I've had it pop out a little bit more here. Uh-huh. See, it's going to get covered up by the refractive. Like so. And it'll just turn itself into a nice little shadow as a result. So I'm going to go around. Okay. See? So it's almost like doing uh -huh. lip liner. But you know how you have to overline your lips sometimes to change change the shape? Mm. It's the same thing that I'm doing right now. I got a little more in than I should have, but yeah, same. <laughs> like I like it's it's okay. definitely gone a little it's it's gone a little over made up. Come on, a little over made. It's not bad. No, you got the end of it. <laughs> Again, keep in mind this is your first mini. So I'll be pleased with whatever you are able to get onto the mini itself. It'll be great. Just the bottom or around the top as well? Also around the top, yep. Okay. Hold on that. Yeah. Trying to be, I maybe should have gone with the detail, but no, it's it's working. It I just, works? I'm always worried that I'm like, I can't fix what I just messed up. That's paint, you can always <laughs> fix it. You just have to let it dry. Just remember that. I'm also going to take a picture of my hand when we're done tonight because it's going to be a very interesting pattern. Oh, oh gosh, See, you are a doing, messy oh, eater. A little more than I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, but now I see how it kind of, okay. Yeah. Yeah, same. That red seemed so really same. intense and now, okay. Now it's getting covered up and you see that the mouth ah. is starting to get filled in there. Uh, let's see here. Oh, when we have post. Lady Luck, you are doing clips. Awesome. Oh, yay, Mandy's here. Yay, you're awesome. You're the happened. best. Yeah, it's, wait, hold on. Painting part, hello, Awkwardish there Panda, hello. Oh, lovely names in the chat to see. Oh, so yay. once you Hi, do Panda that, Harris. yeah. So once you do that, you're basically going to go in and you're going to paint this entire thing up, okay? Um, well, this is okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna paint all of everything that's skin. So you don't have to paint the claws. If you have a little of the paint go up on the claws, paint. that's perfectly okay. Cover your face. There we go. Yes. Yeah, if you cover your face, then it'll look for its face. Definitely, this is definitely <laughs> a joker <laughs> leaning slot right yes. now. This is yes. yeah, this is the slot yeah. who laughs like ah. Mm -hmm. So now I'm just gonna take the refractive green and you can see I'm even getting it into the eye sockets. That's totally okay. Okay, so we're just going Okay, so going just to going for it. All, all right, right. great. Yep. This now I can deal. Over. And we're painting over the crevasse uh, yes. dark that we did? Okay. Yep, because you have a thin oh, coat of paint happening. Oh, because it had time to dry? It okay. had time to dry, and that's going to act as a shadow Great. peeking through as this dries. So you mm. want to keep the paint thin. You don't want to glob it on. Mm -hmm. But it'll help create some shadow work underneath for you. There's a fun little trick there, especially right. for beginners. All right, painting sensei, I trust. Okay. Painting sensei. I, I should get that as a shirt. <laughs> I am the painting sensei. Now, it will get a little bit interesting here at the top of his head because he's got all of that lovely texture happening still. Mm -hmm. Under the mouth, like under the everything. It's like, mm -hmm. it's weirdly grainy spongy like yeah mm, it is it's a good way grains, to describe it grains. now we're going back to maybe i need to do a zombie slot could be an interesting paint right but the name of the game is to get this green over the entire body okay so we're just going to town now we're going to town now that you sort of etched out the mouth can i see like where you have painted over some of your um, mm -hmm. crevasse shading, because I feel like maybe my green is too thick. It, I as kind it of dries, don't yeah. see as it dries. Okay, so I shouldn't be concerned. Yeah, you don't okay. want to put okay. a thick layer in there. Uh, and actually, I will show you how it looks when it dries, because what happens right now is because the paint is wet, you uh -huh. get flashback, and you're not going to see it as well. Uh huh. Got it. Okay. I'm yeah. I'm worried mine's too. Thick. Thin, but it seems to be doing all right in terms of coverage okay. and things. Okay. Maybe mine's just a little. Oh, more. I can already see what you're talking about, though, V. Oh, it's not taking it away. Okay, it is. Oh. Mm-hmm. Because I was That's really afraid the moment I painted over it, it was just mm -hmm. gonna vanish. Mm -mm. No, it'll show back up. It's a subtle little trick that helps. I like doing it for um, miniatures that have a lot of detail texture in them. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. Oops. And actually, my room is warmer. So if you find that um, your paint is getting a little bit dry in process, you can go back to that little well of water next to it since it's the same color. Or you're working the same color. It's not like you're jumping between colors. And so even though mm -hmm. my water is getting muddied, that's okay. Uh, but I do need to thin this out a little more because it's hot, y'all. Okay. Definitely. Oh, shoot. Not the, well, not the claws. Okay. Not the claws. Well, we, the claws are going to be black, essentially, in the oh. end. So if you get anything on the claws, that will still be okay. It's not massive cause for concern. It's not massive claws for concern? Nah. No, you're punny. Boo. <laughs> All right. Awkward angle. Flip them over. It's a really and nice that's the green. other thing. Oh. Uh huh. Like it's, I mean, it's it really just disturbing in its niceness. That's yes. it. Yeah. Mm. It's that creepy tone of green. I would have, I was having fun reading the paint colors. Yes. Uh, reading the names of them. The names. Yes. Oh, they're so mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, oops. No wonder this is, oh, it's fine. What happened? 
Well, I just noticed what brush I'm using, and it's not the multi-purpose one. Oh, you're using the details brush? Yeah, I'm going to switch it Might. out after I finish this. Yeah. Might take you a little It'll bit longer. It'll just go faster, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that's the other thing, folks. If you're at home and you have brushes you're more comfortable working with for larger swaths of coverage like this, by all means, you can hop to your brush of cho choice. I use what is in the kit. Oh, this is so much easier. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome it's to like the they were meant process. for different purposes. They kind of are. <laughs> what? What? Huh? No. Blasphemer. Different brushes for different things? That's no. that's too much. Well, I mean, eventually you can buy like, a whole thing and it's called a set of brushes. What? Yeah, more than just a pair of brushes. What? Careful, there's a rabbit hole. Mm -hmm. you. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. I know, right? No, I can't do it. <gasps> oh, gosh. Ah, no, wait. I forgot your little elbow spine back there. I am so mm -hmm. sorry. How dare yeah, there's, I? There's a lot of ground. Oh, and you're inside this. under. Oh gosh, you're yep. you're uneven. Get back in here. Yep. And you may find because of the texture on the body that you might have to do a little poking. And it's okay if you get it on things like the spikes and whatnot. Again, we'll go back over with other paint. Oh yeah, I'm just getting it all over these spikes. I'm just like, yeah. yeah Name of the game right now is to get that refractive green into all the nooks and crannies. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, I, I forgot your little tuck is back here. My bad. Don't forget the Great Divide. Okay, so we found out how Herb got pulled into comic <laughs> books and superheroes. Uh-huh. Huge, darling. What got that. you into performing arts? Oh, God. Oh. Um, I didn't have a choice, I don't think. Wait, what? I mean, I, I, I on it, like, I remember being three years old mm -hmm. and standing on the coffee table and just belting Gloria Estefan for the gods. Ooh. So, like, I don't, I don't think I ever had a say in the matter. It was just there all the time. It was. Oh, there, are, wow. there are home movies that, like, my parents know are never to be released to the wider world. Oh, I know the kind. Of, yep. like... Yep. Gloria Stefan and mm -hmm. and fucking uh, oh there it is there's our there one is. sorry there's there's, there's the right. one sorry there's the one, one. sorry <laughs> uh, I'm so focused uh, Gypsy Kings Bambo Leo there are Ooh. videos of that too Ooh, love oh yeah yep okay that one that one came full circle when I was in college we did don't judge me an acapella mm -hmm. musical uh -huh. and my feature one of one of my features was Bambo Leo and it was so fun. why would i judge that sounds like a see i used to stand um in, in the house that i lived in in texas it had this mat because everything's bigger in texas um it had this <laughs> massive fireplace and mantle that as a child was basically a stage so i Hell would yeah. stand <laughs> on that and i was singing like debbie gibson whitney houston <laughs> and i was dressed up oh my god so yeah i totally understand that one um <laughs> Oop, whoops, hold on. Here, oh, that's why, oh, it's looking that's why Mandy's good. here. Mandy is here to do clips and also to give me my my daily thrashing for how I ended season two of Motherlands. Oh, well. Everybody, that's, that's everybody mad at you for that. Okay. Everybody mad at everybody me for that. Mad at you Here's for that. the thing. If you mm -hmm. all knew how much worse it could have been had I listened Did you to one Kirby B. Dave, Dave Walters. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> if you okay, all only so. Knew. Yeah, I. There, there is usually, for good reason, much cursing mm -hmm. of B Dave. <laughs> uh, but for the Ultra best reason. Black Dice Society? Yeah. For the viewers. You know. Working with him with Black Dice Society? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. I. I think I've been lucky to be in a game with him once and, and one game that he ran, and it was mm -hmm. just a delight. One of my earliest oh, yeah. games, and actually, I was in with him and it was just amazing mm -hmm. do you know i've never okay. rolled dice with b-day vultures you've got to stop really all right so no. here is where i can show you this area has dried and you can see that those darker areas are still playing through even though you've painted over it because you've thinned the paint and the paint is a lighter tone than the one that was put into the grooves so you get this accentuated shading happening without it being evident lines I mean, it's as it dries. Yeah, I can see it in a few places. I can also see a yeah. few places where, like, 
I probably Doesn't should have done more. Uh, and yeah, that's I'm, part I mean, of the learning it's, it's, process. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. You're learning. You're getting a feel for how the paint functions um, on the mini right now. Um, but yeah, with Motherlands, you two have been with it from the beginning. And don't forget, exclamation point Motherlands in the chat. Please go check out the Twitter and uh, all the other wonderful things going on for it, with it, and the people. I look forward to one day playing now that uh, now that the, the Kickstarter is wonderfully funded. Mm -hmm. I look forward to mm -hmm. playing yeah. uh, as it is. I'm 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 just the voice you hear before everything happens. So yes, clearly, I'm, I'm clearly oh, I'm the star me, I should, of this. Clearly, I should, it's obviously you are the first thing everybody hears every week. Yeah. Um, which reminds me, I should probably write you a season three script, huh? Oh, maybe. Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> Possibly. When does that kick in? August fourth. August 4th. Yeah, we're sticking to Wednesdays. We're sticking to two Very cool. hours. Nice. Very uh, cool. And so we'll be back the first Wednesday of August. Excellent. Oh, that's exciting. That's not yeah. that's not too terribly long of a break. That's nice. It's enough of a breather. But people will still be. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, out. it's it's entirely about like I get this much time to mm. not think about it. And then I have true. this much time to start thinking about this it. Is, this is very, yeah. Oh yeah, that's absolutely true when you're in the uh, storyteller seat. <laughs> By all means. Um, so. But yeah. Is it normal to, it normal to kind of want to blow dry, to blow it dry as you're No, painting? it's completely, it's an impulse. Such Especially impulse. <laughs> um, people who are used to working with things like nail polish, I've noticed too. The whole like, <sighs> yes, that is a completely normal thing. Um, just don't hyperventilate. <laughs> and I know it this shouldn't laugh but here's because the I'm thing. going to if I'm not there, careful. But. There are reasons why I'm saying these things because these are uh -huh. classes I also do at conventions. And bless his heart, this darling little boy, he was painting a little blue wormling oh, no. oh, and no. he wanted to catch up because he fell a little bit behind and he was going. <sighs> Like it almost sounded oh, like a Lamaze class. Oh my god! And oh, no. then he stopped at one point, and I actually watched him kind of do like that little whoop a doo And I'm like, oh. "Honey, you need to breathe. <laughs> like, Sweet. put the mini down, and I need you to actually breathe." Um, but yeah, it 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 can definitely happen. Uh, that and like I said before, holding the breath. Some people will hold their breath. Oh shoot! Control. I didn't get under the arm. Oh, come here. Yep. Don't forget under the I, arm. I forgot you. The interesting thing is, this is this is the most coverage that we're going to be doing everything else sort of picks up once we get these big steps taken care of sure but it's a lot of green to incorporate Cheap absolutely <laughs> yeah v, i think that's where we first met right you were it was at a one of the paxes and you were doing tutorials mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that's when we finally met in person yep yep absolutely i loved doing it it was so much fun okay well, and I, I never did one of yours, but I would sort of pass by the table after we knew each other and just sort of mm -hmm. peek in. And you were always, everyone always seemed to have be such a good time and you were always so good at it. And I'm excited that now I get to be one of I those people. I am thrilled. I got to show yeah. you how to paint your first mini. <gasps> For both of you, really. A bit on the butt here. Yep. Um, Come on. So now... I think, quite frankly, the whole backstory of the creation of Motherlands and everything is absolutely wonderful. So for those who may not be familiar with the Motherlands, how would you uh, yeah. describe it to them in a nutshell yeah. in terms so of the game? So the conceit for the setting, sorry, I should face the microphone. The conceit <laughs> for the setting, uh, professional, strimmer, is that... <laughs> Centuries ago. No. <laughs> yeah, Brian, do you just want to do... The dialogue centuries oh God, ago, the centuries Emperor, ago, Montia, the Emperor you know Mansa Musa sent out his best and brightest scholars, warriors, artisans, and uh, artisans and something else. Something else. Um, yeah, essentially, it's yep. you know, it's, it's Gilligan's <laughs> Island, but it, it's Gilligan's Island, but in space. Um, yeah, okay, but see, that's a <laughs> clever way to put it. I, wait, I love that. That's my new elevator yeah. pitch. It's Gilligan's Island with brown people in space. Um, yeah, so Mansa Musa was a real live African emperor from the nation of Mali mm -hmm. and uh, considered by some to be the richest man in history because his empire was in fact obscenely rich in primarily gold, uh, but mm -hmm. all sorts of other things as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it is also real live world earth history that he sent out an expedition across what we know as the Atlantic Ocean, but what he at that time called the Great Western Ocean. Mm -hmm. to discover new lands. 
And uh, I believe it is also true that that expedition sort of never came back. Uh, and so we pick up the story there. We, uh, so those, that expedition was mm -hmm. sailing across the Atlantic and wibbly wobbly timey wimey space stuff suddenly is in space. And so uh, the game itself takes place three, about three-ish thousand years later. Uh -huh. um, when humans have uh, these, these humans have established uh, life on a new planet that they call Musalia. A lot of their naming conventions are named for for Mons Musa or for Mali, uh, but the natives call it Vatoa, and it sort of goes from there. It is a it's a sci-fi setting and sci-fi story that just presupposes that all of the humans in the story are African of African descent. Um, which for the most part, it's been 3,000 years, so there's some variation, but for the most part means mm -hmm. it's all black folks. Now, of course, what we're doing right now is discovering as we flesh out more and more of the setting that in fact there mm -hmm. are, there is quite a diversity of humans out in the motherlands. Uh, but so far we have only seen Musalians or humans uh, that are directly descended from Mansa Musa's expedition. And it's just sort of, I mean, it's like any other sci-fi thing, you know, we got spaceships mm -hmm. and we got aliens and we got, you know, lasers, I guess. Uh, but it's also about exploration of not just space, but of the self. We've been doing a lot of that in the stream game in particular. And we're mm -hmm. hoping to be able to write that into, you know, the, the book as it comes out, that it's about, you know, exploring what's important to you. And it's about exploring new things personally and and you know galactically and all of those things mm -hmm. i think it is absolutely wonderful and also you and the rest of the players do some gorgeous role playing oh thank you i'm so lucky to play really, with those truly. amazing humans Y'all have made me cry one too many times. I mean, and I come back for more. <laughs> I'm only, I'm only ever like looped into the planning of about half of it, because mm -hmm. there have been. I mean, I could name probably at least one time for each of our five players that they have just surprised the heck out of me in a moment, mm -hmm. and made me and the rest of the cast feel right along with the right along with the audience. Right in the face. Kinda... Yep. I don't know. I kind of love that about streamed games. Oh, you know, yeah. Regardless of a familiar system or a new system. I mean, with Motherlands, it's a wonderful way to introduce yourself to the universe. Right. Um, established, but also it's just a really unique way. You know, I, like there are discussions about, oh, well, my table doesn't look like that. And it doesn't have to, but it's mm -hmm. it's entertaining right. and it kind of draws you in. So you just get fascinated yeah. by it. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. And it's, uh, you know, the players are so willing to go there for us. And, and you know, they know, they know, you know, I've given them, we've given them some primers and stuff about the setting, but like I said, the setting is still being created. So they're helping to, yeah. to make it as much as we are. And that can be a scary thing, you know, for mm -hmm. a player, um, mm -hmm. particularly with something like this, where, you know, there is the, the threat of cannon hanging above all of our heads at all times. Right. Um, but they, they have never hesitated to just do the thing tell the story make up whatever needs to be made up they are mm -hmm. definitely an ask forgiveness rather than permission cast which i honestly love yeah. uh, and and yeah i'm just i'm so excited to see as we start to really get stuff formatted and into book form mm -hmm. to see both what comes from the what comes from the game and makes it into final canon that the players have contributed and also what changes. I'm really excited to see like, cause you know, there are definitely things that everybody in the cast, we've had moments, we've had post shows and we're sort of like, oh, I, you know, I don't really know what that was. Like we need to codify mm -hmm. that, but actually the way we did it tonight didn't really work and I don't really get it. And so mm -hmm. I'm so excited to get a chance to have a second pass at all that stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Sort of fine oh, tune weird. and- Yeah, like a live play test yeah. of your system. That's kind of yeah, cool. Yeah. And that from day one of the stream, that's what it has. It's one of the things that has excited me the most about this is that it's mm -hmm. a public play test for a system and a setting. Also, you know, I have this incredible sort of writer's room of developers, you know, you do, Jasmine, yeah. uh, uh, that bronze girl and Gabe Hicks and B Dave, mm -hmm. who, mm -hmm. you know, are a, are a discord DM away where I can be 
in even in the middle of, of episodes, I can be like, right. oh crud, they've done a thing I wasn't ready for and I need something to slow them down. Hey Gabe, give me some terror, you know, some scary land beast that's like a, a Black Panther analog, right? right? And then he'll a few minutes later he'll send me some wild creature that he's named by going in and finding, you know, the Arabic or the Swahili translation of Ooh. Panther, and then it's this cool creature that is recognizable as a predator and has all kinds of cool stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling because I'm focusing on this painting, but the yeah, point so is, that whole point it's is really amazing game. to get to to get to develop on the fly while we're playing mm -hmm. and while we're streaming. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Should we get the palms? I know it does ultimately yes. doesn't matter. I'm kind of getting about... them with the palms. the palms. I'm stopping-ish of the nails. Yep, but stop around the nails. That's also, exactly I, what you need, do. I definitely need to do more more paint it's palms. It's tricky on the hands. Running out of grain. Like, yeah, oh, then you can always uh, grab a little bit more and thin a little. Yeah. Um, but definitely you can uh, work a little bit up on the claws if you need to because the hands do get to be tricky. There's a lot of funky angles on this. So if you're painting at home, like I said before, make sure you move this around a lot so you can get all those little angles. And you may find as other areas are drying that there might be a spot you realize, oh wait, I need a little bit more paint there. A little more paint there. That's totally normal. That will happen. Yeah. But I am almost at the point. So that's what I'm coming right into. I, I, I keep flipping it and turning around. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. oh. Yep. Yep. That absolutely but happens. I'm, I'm loving, like, I I am always very wary. And I, I was like, okay, well, that's not going to, like, mm -hmm. dry all evenly. Right. In the cunt. And I'm like, no, uh -huh. it's really. Yeah. It's, it's kind of surprising what happens as it develops. And if you get paint on other spots at this point, that is still okay. Um, I purposely Good, have the so. order of operations <laughs> painting so that if you slip somewhere, we can fix it down the line. So you'll okay. be good. All now, little toesies. speaking of working together. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Whatever could you be asking about? I don't know. What that's I don't know, about. but I saw this lovely video that the two of you did discussing oh, the yeah. characters on Rivals. Yeah. Virgil and Kent, correct? Yes. yes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. So when you first were going in um, as these two new characters, was the intention to have them um, as a couple? Or were you just sort of riffing off of each other and realized they would make a good couple? <laughs> little of column A, little of column B? Yeah, okay. we, um, I think, um, I know I was building, because it had been, you know, it was going to be a first time in a long time I was going to be in a long campaign. I was building to complement uh mm -hmm. Hanya's character but along the way we're kind of discussing like oh okay you're playing this oh you're killing this and I just mm -hmm. said oh but what if they like so I said okay well, they're, they're from the same place and they know each other are yeah. they friends are they frenemies or are they more than friends and mm -hmm. you know it just kind of like we were like well let's let's try and let's see what happens if we see bring them happens. in as a couple mm -hmm. yeah um which was it was nice because we didn't the way that and I'll tell you, like, I, we didn't realize what the two of their dynamic would be until, like, no. whoever, whoever got to speak oh. first basically was, like, won the coin toss. <laughs> <laughs> That's accurate. Um, so, so, yeah, we're, and, and we were so into just trying to figure out, okay, how do these two characters interact with each other? Because mm -hmm. we don't plan or practice anything God, no. ahead of time. Um, and I think it wasn't until late late that first appearance or maybe the middle of our second episode where people said wait are are they a couple mm -hmm. and and we're just like yeah i don't yeah. understand the question yes yeah. i mean yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, um i mean the dynamic yeah. it, oh it's lovely and there are times the two of you play out this one little like something small <laughs> we're so but it just makes Brian. the two of them <laughs> All the more real because of it, and I love it. Really, is it a great is dynamic. Great fun, going. and I, yeah. I feel so lucky mm. that he puts up with me. No, that um, that <laughs> we trust each other so much, and that we mm -hmm. we just go with it. You know, whichever yeah, one of us wants to to start the thing. You know, whatever the bit is, or whatever the moment is. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I kind of love that. I love that nature of it, that it is a very, it's very much a give and take. And it's very mm -hmm. much, I mean, we do that, like, it's pretty much the whole cast. And oh, yeah. I'm glad yeah, that yeah. we were able to fit into oh, it. 
But even yeah. I am sometimes a little bit surprised at when our brains are just perfectly in sync. Mm-hmm. It, it unintentionally and it's like mm-hmm. okay yeah sure yep even <laughs> that, little micro gestures <laughs> it's been amazing so here he is all completely covered uh mine with a refractive green uh, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go check out our progress for yeah. those of you playing the home game along with Take us the pictures. uh get we the pictures see. don't forget hashtag wk paint party three and we're going to take a look but this is where you want your slot to be mm, at this oops. point Okay. There. Yeah, yeah there. you're getting there. Looking good, guys. Very nice. So I'm gonna set mine down to dry a Green little bit. Paint coming everywhere now. <laughs> this is where I've actually gone shopping, and my hand has looked like this, and people have just given me looks. <laughs> and I'm like, don't, don't ask. Just don't ask. All right. So let's take a look at what we're getting for submissions. Actually, let me refresh the refresh the page first, my darlings. Uh, did to do. Uh-huh. And then we'll take a look at what we have going. Ba, ba, ba. All right, so let's take a look and see who is playing the home game. Who we got? Okay. Who we got? Uh, well, someone is impressed with uh, talking about brushes and saw. Uh, Mandy, she's in there and she has uh, clips going for us. Thank you so much. Oh, lady, like you're the best. Yes. So those, those I'm going to be watching after the fact. So if you want to see some great broken down clips of this, uh, if you're watching the VOD version, uh, you want to make sure you get over to LadyLuck34 on Twitter and take a look at what is being shared on that uh, account. And then we are back to the shading shot from Huge. Yes. Hello. There he Hello. is. Hello. I love how you even put in a little prompt. Oh, and here we have Gareth S. They have shared their sharing or their shading. Sharing of the shade. Sharing everything. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah, That's look at that. Good. I like. Covering I with like. newspaper. That was a smart idea. And we're back what a smart to, idea! Back to Brian's, which I saw before. Let me just do another quick refresh because I know some of you are painting still. Okay. Let's see what else we get. Oh, wait until those are done, and I'll post these. Oh, here we go. We have Gareth S. painting along with us, getting some <laughs> of the back and the front. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, cool. So yeah, it's that easy, folks. If you just put in that hashtag, every time I refresh that page for the latest, it's going to show us your submissions. Um, and like I said, I'm going to go back and watch those videos and see it was caught too, because yeah. that would be that would be lovely. So we're going to go back to our main event screen. But at this point, you can see you have a nice green fellow, but very flat in color. Where's the mm-hmm. end point? So what we're going to work on as these start to dry is we're going to be doing something called dry brushing and dry brushing as you can see here it's a process that actually brings out more details wow so here's Mm. with the dry brush and here is with just the flat base color put on you do have some hints of what's going on where we put in that darker dark sea green Mm -hmm. those are popping out a little bit more or recessed a little bit more because of that but now we're going to play with the upper layers of the slot okay so we're going to get into that whole dry brushing thing and have some fun there. But we want to make sure that paint is dry for it. Okay. So I'm going to stop touching. Yeah. So that it, get it to the point where it's nice and dry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let it dry. You know, let it go. Well, let it dry. <laughs> All right. And then um, at this point, if you do have, I'm just going to take a little bit of a paper towel and soak up my... Well, actually, no, we're still playing with green. So since you're still playing with greens, I'm not too worried about my water having a green tinge to it because that'll just come into play with the next green. Um, Keep that refractive there for a while, but make sure that your multi-purpose brush is not only well rinsed off, but also make sure that too is dry because if you go in with water dripping off your bristles, it will affect the dry brush technique. So since the two of you have never painted a mini before, I'm gonna show you dry brushing really quick so you get a feel for how it works. And I'm actually gonna use a darker color against my skin so that it pops out a little bit more for you. So I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna use, cause in the set you'll have Hex Lichen, which is not a color we're really gonna be using in this, but okay. it also will be great for showing off. It's so what I'm gonna lovely do- Lovely color though. It's it's actually like a beautiful amethyst purple. So Very I've just put a little bit- color. 
I put a little bit of this hex lichen on and um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a paper towel and I'm going to remove the excess and as soon as I start seeing when I pull my brush that it jumps and it's only catching the top mm. portion that's when I know okay I've pulled off enough of the paint and then with dry brushing what you do is you hold the brush so it's almost parallel to the surface mm -hmm. okay and you will drag it across and what it starts to do is it'll uh, bring out let's get the angle better here it'll bring out all that lovely texture in the miniature and i like to I encourage people it does tickle if you get the right spot <laughs> but i like to especially for beginners uh, encourage that you use your wrist because your wrist has all these lovely lines it has texture to it so that you can play and learn how dry brushing works and a little will go a very long way as you can tell here and it's just a matter of dragging it across the surface and then when you like you're doing it and it doesn't show any more of the paint that's where you would go back in and add some more in but that's that's the that's the general trick with dry brushing now you can also um we have the multi-purpose brush that's what comes in the kit some people at home you may find if you have one available a flat style brush will also do the trick and quite nicely it'll float See, it across the top cool you like that yeah i do okay, i don't so i'm you... not loving what i'm seeing coming out on my wrist well i've, I've learned not to use reds while doing this <laughs> I did this one time showing people with red, and I was like, oh, that does not look good when I'm done. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I looked slightly injured. Cool. Um, <laughs> but it's a really great way, especially for beginners, to add a little oomph to their minis without having to go like the fine detail brushes and everything um, that more advanced painters might do. So it, once you get the feel for that and you feel comfortable, what we can do is sure. that we're going to... Sh sure. Uh, no. We're going to take some refractive green, and I'm actually, I'm going to clear out my well of the thin refractive green, because you actually, I don't like to thin my paints when it comes to dry brushing. I actually like them okay. to be thicker, so I'm actually going to take some paper towel and clean out that well. It doesn't have to be perfectly clean. Uh, we can go back in and mix, so just, just enough to kind of get the thinned out bit out of the way. I'm going to pop that over here, and I'm going to go back to refractive green. So this one, and we're also going to use Park Green Flat. Now, Brian, this is probably gonna be familiar with you because you're, you're a cook and a baker. So basically it's going to be uh, to mix this two parts of the refractive with one part Park Green, but because we want a little bit more, I'm actually gonna do four to two. Okay. Okay. So, so four, four the refractive, refractive and two parts and then... Park Green. Okay. All right. So just, and it's not an exact science. You basically want four globs to two globs from the end of your paintbrush. So I'm going to go back into here, the same well that I've cleaned out from the thinned out paint. It is four refractive, right? Four refractive. Yep. Okay. So just glob And that just makes sure that you have enough. Yeah. Because we're mixing a paint, One. it's easier to make sure you have more as opposed to less. Two. Um, oh. 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 And then I'm rinsing my hair. <laughs> I think I over globbed. Oh. Glob it good. I'll keep the globs okay. even that it's way, okay. you know. Right. <laughs> I like someone said, oh, so that's what dry brushing is. Yes. You're essentially working with a dress a brush that is almost dry of paint. Um, but you still get the color playing through. It's kinda like uh for those of you who are familiar with makeup, using things like highlighters and blush. Uh, bringing out the higher points in features. So now I'm going to go in and do my two bloops or bloops of park green, which is pretty much like a beautiful, bright, vivid Kelly green. Really, yeah. Uh, to color. the um, army green. And notice I'm not wiping off the end of my brush in this case. I'm just going to go oh, in yeah? now and just use the end of my brush to mix this color together. And you'll see what this is doing. It's dulling the park green so that you have a slightly different green tone that we're going to use for dry brushing on the upper portion of the oh, slide. Oh, because 
That so really if you looked were to like the green in, was going to yeah. take over, but now mm -hmm. it's... No, it's just a nice way of heightening the color, lifting it up a couple tones um, without muddying it. Because what happens if you were to go in with that light flesh and try to... And I did it myself just to see what happened. The suspicions were true. If you go in with that light fresh, the refractive green, you actually start ending up with a very light muddy color. It loses its green tendencies. Mm. Um, so by adding in the park green flat, because it's a lighter green with brighter tones, you still keep that green color playing through and it makes mm -hmm. it pop just a little bit more. Uh, so what we're going to do, once you have that mixed, you're going to dry brush this onto the upper body of... Okay your slot. Uh, so I have here, if you have the guide printed out, uh, we're basically going to be looking at the head, shoulders, biceps, Knees biceps, uh, back through the V shape, the back V, um, and under the chin and the pectoral details. Okay. So that's where we want this to go. So I'm going to. So, okay. Dip. So really upper, upper torso, basically upper torso, upper torso minus yep. legs. Yep. Upper torso. So I'm going to dip my brush into my mixed colors and I'm going to pull the paint off so that there's not a whole bunch on there and you can see I'm stopping now because I've got that lovely lighter coloring as opposed to the blob that you see at the top that was my first couple of brush strokes right there once I see that I know that I am ready to go to the miniature and I'm just going to pull across the details so what you don't want to do with dry brushing is you don't want to pull it with those pectoral streaks you want mm -hmm. to work it across. So it's sort of like going against the grain of the texture. Because if I were to take my brush and pull it this way, it's going to fall right into all those grooves you spent that work to make darker. But if you pull it so that it sits across and against the grain, it will play up the color without going into those deeper recesses. Uh, yeah, look at that. Oh. And then oh. just play this across the upper body. And the nice thing about dry brushing is if you go in a little bit lighter, you can always go back in and add a little bit more if you want to see that color difference a little bit more drastically. But always start off with a lighter coating so that you don't basically overpower the base coat. Mm -hmm. But that's how this works. I'm even going to get around the chin here and the mouth. You have all this lovely texture happening under the chin, too. Yeah. But that's what we're doing with this mixed batch now. And you'll find you have to move your mini around. That is perfectly all right. In fact, I encourage it, especially with dry brushing. But you can see it's starting to make the upper layers of its texture pop out a little bit more. It's really, yeah, it's like it's not a solid, but it's really mm -hmm. kind of, it's, mm -hmm. uh, I don't have words for it. It's cool. Let's just yeah. go with that. It's, it's cool. a fun, yeah. it's a fun little you. detail. <laughs> and actually, you'll see it more drastically once I get to the back, kind of focusing on the front first, and then I will flip over to the back. But this goes along the entire upper body. Let me see how chat's doing. Oh, I'm glad that worked out for you, uh, Lulu Luluin Mountain. I'm trying to think if I'm pronouncing that. Forgive me. I I always second guess myself with screen names. Um, but yeah, mixing the two colors. Sometimes you don't realize what paint colors will work nicely with each other, and what colors end up fighting with each other. So it's always good to do sample swatches before applying to your miniature if you're kind of experimenting with mixing and blending. And obviously, as you do more of it, you learn, you kind of learn ahead of time, like, mm, this color I bet's not going to be that great. Like when I saw the light flush and the refractive, I'm like, those aren't going to be nice. Um, Bits are not as dry as I'd like, but I still kind of like the way it looks. Okay. But that's really the accents, like, yeah, it's like. Mm -hmm. um, yep, a little bit of an expected pop. I'm just going to carefully dance it over the lip area. And the eyes will address later on, so don't worry if you get this on the eyes, that's okay. 
fact, you can okay, really so don't put paint in your eyes. The ridge. Yeah, don't put paint in your eyes. You can do it in your minis, but on your own. <laughs> And this is actually the technique where I can very quickly get lost in adding just a touch more, adding just a touch more mm. to the miniature. Like there are times I'm like, and I need to stop. Someone needs to make me stop. <laughs> and for those of you who are just watching along, if you are looking for this kit right now, it is at participating local stores. So if you type an exclamation point local, Ooh, we're not doing that this. will take you to a search option at WizKids official website and you can plug in your address details, how far you are willing to travel, and it will provide you with a list of stores who carry WizKids products. However, do be sure to contact them first to see if they are currently open, have things in stock, uh, especially if you're going to be traveling a little bit further. Save yourself a trip. But right now, this is an FLGS only item. However, after three months, 90 days type of situation, you will start seeing these become available elsewhere. It's just for the time being, when we get started with these, we wanna make sure that stores have these first, give the locals a chance to get these going, and then once we're done with the events, then you'll see them um, popping up online. Oh, and I have a cat hair on my brush. That's always fun. Can I can use help. <laughs> oh, I just pulled it off. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was this curly Q shaped thing as opposed to straight bristles. Leg, no, just, just, just a butt. Mm -hmm. I think I'm not very good at dry brushing. <laughs> I, that, I am also feeling time. that a little bit. Um, I mean, I'm liking time. the effect because it's not, yeah. it's not like I'm painting it this new color. Uh -huh. But there are moments when this new color is much stronger but then mm -hmm. other places it's dulling, it's dulling in and it's like. Yeah. That's not unheard of at all. That's a very common thing for beginning painters. And again, it's a technique that'll come in time. It's, it's the same thing like when you're first learning how to do makeup or painting nails or anything of that sort. Um, you know, the more you practice, Greener. especially uh, sure. muscle memory oh. starts to kick in okay. and your hands remember, oh wait, I'm not supposed to press down so hard. It it's more to be like a feather light yeah, touch. Like a little there. yeah and like I said just uh keep working it around you can always go back over like I'm doing right now I'm realizing I want it a little bit more intense in some areas I'm always I always say I'm less is more when it comes to art that's usually just yeah. because I'm terrified of like the minute I do one stroke too many mm -hmm. nope mm -hmm. and you can really make it your own that's the other thing Because I was, I, I was afraid like this new color and it's a gorgeous green. I was afraid it was going to glob completely over, like oh, no, the coating, the uh, coverage yeah. that we did. But it is like accenting really nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because it's built off of the original tone, so you kind right of on have your little this... froggy head. Yep. Oh geez, I'm turning into Lady Luck. I want to adopt the slot now. That's not, that's <laughs> no, not, that's not good. So that's scary. not good. That's not good, right? They they don't make the best of pets. I mean, there is that control gem factor, but uh, it's not. Of course, if you have process. the gem and you're sure, you'll never lose it. Exactly. And you have the magical know-how how to do it. And quite frankly, it's the it's the green slots that pack a little bit more of a punch too, because they're the mm -hmm. ones who uh, they have a little magic ability there going on, unlike the other ones. And then what is it? You have your um, gray slots and death slots. That's where things get dark. Mm -hmm. It's a very interesting lore. If, you, if you're not familiar with the lore of slots, slutty rather, um, absolutely check it out. And they're not There's something you want to bump into. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of liking where I'm looking at this point. Oh, don't Ooh. touch it. It's still wet. No, don't, <laughs> don't touch the wet paint. Wet paint. Don't touch. I do want to work on just a little bit more accentuating here along the back. I think I might also rebalance my camera slightly. Yeah, I'm going to go adjust my light real quick. I'll be right back. Yeah. That's the thing when you go from having a white <laughs> mini. <laughs> Things get, uh, give me just a second here. 
because now that I'm not in as much, I can actually get this. And if anyone's watched me in my other painting streams, you know I do this all the time because sometimes you have to adjust accordingly. So what I want to try and do is drop that brightness a little bit now. You all right? <laughs> what did you do? I'm good. What did you do, darling? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm with good. that shift of light, that helps. So here you can see there's just, it's a subtle difference between top and literally bottom. <laughs> Probably should have turned them around. Um, but you can see there's more of this brighter tone happening up here than there is on the lower portion of the body. All right? Hmm. So you have that What's happening. Hmm. Sure. All right. So now what we're going to Yeah, I'm getting do... out of the camera. Oh. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I don't have my third light right behind me, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. OK. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. sorry. For, sorry for everyone on screen. That's that's really no, bad. No, no, no. It's totally. Oh yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, sorry about that. Totally okay. Flash. <laughs> Let me just do that. <laughs> there you go. Oh yeah. Okay, so that so takes care of the upper can. body. Yeah. There we go. And now what we're gonna do is move over to the um, lighter portion, and you're gonna see what I mean about that refractive green getting mixed with light flesh. Okay. So, once again, are we thinning paints at this point? I think what I'm going to do is actually just absorb the water I had here for thinning paint. And I'm going to use that well instead. It always helps to have extra paper towels around. So I'm going to go back to refractive green. And in this case, it is going to be five parts refractive to one part light flesh. Okay. And... Oh! Yeah. Okay, five parts. Yep. Three, one, oh, like another paper towel, because that one's just two, got wet. Three. Four. No, and don't. Five. Sorry, I dropped my brush. Nope. Into and my I'm well. <laughs> They're going everywhere. That's everything. Okay, so five to one, <laughs> refractive to flesh, which yep. is only slightly disturbing. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, so going to the light flesh, I'm going to take one dollop of that. Oh, I made a poor choice. I didn't open the flesh first. <laughs> I also didn't, so wow. Well, and then I'm just going to mix it me. directly together. And you'll see what I mean, how when uh, you mix these two together, it doesn't quite have the vibrancy um, as the other one. And a little of that goes a long way. Okay. Ah, oh, come on, open. And make sure you one, definitely mix oh, this one. Oh no! Well. Oh, my flesh paint is chunky. Oh, uh -oh hold on. you might Please. have to, you might have to mix your paint a little bit because that is something I'll that shake can it happen up a little with bit. paints. They will settle. The oils and the pigments will separate from each other. Um, mm -hmm. That's why in the bottles often you'll hear people saying they'll put in ball bearings to agitate the paint. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, because it helps mix things. Oh, no, I got a bubble on top. It's gonna pop on something. Oh. Open it over, Hold paper on. towel. I'm moving. I'm moving my slot out of the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then you five good? to one. So one. Yeah. You're good. Okay. There you can see. You can see now that things are drying okay, here. There we go. That difference in tone between here and here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight dry brush more of the texture over the entire body of the slot. Okay. All right. So this still needs a little bit of dry time on mine. So I'm actually going to go over and check out and see how our progress is doing. Uh, people who are sharing, I want to see if we have some more contributions. Start a nix, you fun. minx. Ooh, okay. yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing some fun things. OK, Yay. so let me go and we'll check out the submissions again. Uh, Lady, Luck, thank, Lady Luck 34 over on Twitter, thank you for catching these clips for us. <laughs> I, I am absolutely going to yes. be watching those um, when we are done to see. And then we have <laughs> Goblin Katie has managed to match Shocker oh my dice gosh. Wow. to paint. Of Darling, course. you are fantastic. And thank you uh, both D&D Jordan Lee and Goblin Katie for acting as moderators in our chat this evening. It is very much appreciated. And here yes, is Self you. using a different mini, but working off of the concepts we've been talking about. And that is starting to look really good. 
Yeah, it is. That's very cool. Nice. And here's the same one. Again, more of the... And Brian, there is your all green. And we're back to Gareth. So again, don't forget, just as, as you right. have a point to dry, just type in uh, your WK Paint Party 3. It's important you put that number in there, otherwise we're looking at previous paint parties. Uh, but we'll take a look and see who's been sharing and who has things going on. And it's always fun to see everything that's happening. So let us go back to our main screen here. Now that you have this lovely, as you can see, it's not, and this is what I want to show everyone when I was talking about, this was, I gave you some color theory. You can see here, the first batch kept a little bit more vivid. This, while it lightens it up, mm -hmm. it's not quite as bright. And I wanted to make sure we had that bright green inco incorporated. Now we're gonna take this color and we are going to dry brush the entire body of the slot. But the thing you wanna make sure you do with this is that you have a very light touch. You don't go in too heavy handed with it because this is just a very light accentuation. It's like when you go in and you just wanna bring out just like you're dusting it. I think like you're just dusting the color on top. So, um, you know, like if you're doing like powdered sugar on top of a oh, bundt cake. Oh, wow. A whole it, body? It's the whole body. And nice. again, you work against the grain. It is a lot of area to cover, but because you're going so light, it's actually gonna go a lot faster than before. Uh, so I'm going to actually work over, I'm going to start with one of the hands in the knuckled area so you can see what happens here. Oh yeah. So I'm working uh -huh. across the knuckles and suddenly you see this texture starts to come out of the raised portions, which is what you want to have happen there. And it's really going to be even more evident when I go across the back of the hand here now, and I might start oh, lapsing ah, into my Bob Ross. My part, Brian. <laughs> I get a very mellow voice at some points. Um, so if that's the case. Oh, sure. Oh, I should have taken a picture before I did this, but that's okay. That's okay. But oh, so yeah. Basically, I, don't, I don't know how well this will show really... up on screen, but like. It's acting a little tricky right now, and I might have to play with my camera settings as well. Mm, it's hard to sort of see, yeah. but the difference between the one arm and the other. But anyway, yeah. it's very cool on my end, I promise. Sometimes photographs work better with um, minis than the webcams themselves, which is what's yeah. interesting. But you're basically going to do this lightly across the entire body area of the slot. And again, you can always go back a little bit if you want to after the fact but you're working across all that texture. Never go with the grain of a detail. Work against the grain of a detail. Because this is where you want it to hit the higher points of the sculpture. I'm trying to find a good point to really have this pop out for everyone to see. Here, you can see it here, between the forearm musculature and the bicep. Oh, yeah. So you have that different shift there. I don't know, Henio. Why don't we just have V do ours? I mean, I... <laughs> honestly, at this point, I mean. <laughs> v! Jokes on you. She's in the next room, ready to hand me one when she when we're done. Right, right. What you didn't know is I traveled over there. <laughs> Here's one that we finished earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Although that would be a fun thing to do one summer evening if we have time. Yeah. Oh yeah. Buzz over there and say hi. These, these okay, people. I am a train right away. Don't you dare do this without me. Uh, okay, well, we'll we'll organize. We'll organize yeah. a, a paint. Never. Paint party together. And we're doing legs, yeah. Yep. Everything's getting right. this. Everything. There, you can see right here. The texture that's popping out now on the skin where I've just gone through the shoulder area. Uh huh. And across the top of the head. It's a very subtle wow. shift. Yeah. He's got one thick thigh now that I've done this on one of his legs. Mm hmm. That's just very it. The neat. musculature is going to really come cool. out to play now. And a little goes a long way. There we go. Wow. 
Mm-hmm. I feel klutzy. It's like I totally understand why people have the little like things to hold the minis. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh Because uh-huh. I'm just like I feel klutzy as ever right now. Mm-hmm. But this is I. It's just like it's like highlights and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a little much. But just oh. a couple. I feel, like, I feel like my dry brushing is like eh, but it's it's not covering mm-hmm. anything. It's not like overtaking That's anything. That's good. Then you're good. Uh-huh. If it's not overtaking, then you're getting the feel for it. And again, it's a technique that comes with practice. Let's dry brush that booty. Mm-hmm. Dry brush I, the booty. I got guy. nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Definitely have to go back and chat and pull some of those other suggestions that were provided. <laughs> <laughs> The the something ever flapping cheeks of limbo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's it's it's like I don't know. It was like chaotic cakes, chaotic. <laughs> cakes of chaos. I was gonna say. Oh dear lord. Yes. You got it. There we go. Cakes of uh, bananas. Oh well. Cakes of bananas, banana cake. What? No, I got a little, no. oh, I got a little overzealous okay, yes. with one okay, of Okay, so if you got okay. overzealous, what you can always do is, um, you know how you can blot things mm-hmm. with theater makeup to blend things? Just do a quick blot with a clean oh, finger, okay. and that right. should help pull some of it up. Oh yeah, look at that. Great. Mm-hmm. Dry brushing the Great Divide. <laughs> but yep, yeah, this is just going to help. Bring out all the lovely texture that is in the skin of these guys. It's amazing what a difference this makes. Yeah. Yeah. It takes it from being more of a two dimensional creature to really enhancing all the details that have gone into the sculpt. I don't know. That's that's always th- that's always amazed me with these is the details. Mm-hmm. Uh, like when you get up close and look at whether they're painted or unpainted, it's just like right. you kinda yeah. get lost and you're just like, Oh oh and like that's a little oh no. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And let me tell you, the we have there's more miniatures coming out soon for Wave 15. Just did a couple streams showcasing them. Some of the details on, especially the Magic the Gathering miniatures. Oh my goodness! I can't wait for those. I can't They're wait. Beautiful. Yeah, okay, really is... beautiful things. Like it's kind of got a different. It's it's not. It's like it, it's like it's a barely. It's not. I mean, it's noticeable, but it's still barely mm-hmm. noticeable. Mm-hmm. But it's enough. That's the interesting thing. It's enough where it just changes the look of it completely. Now you, yeah, are, now you do. Now you do glow. Now you glow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, no. All right. The torso is not great, but like you can, I can, I think I can kind of get it. Like look at, look at how clear those like thigh muscles are, baby. That's just it. <laughs> Leg day is happening. I'm telling you. Yeah. Wait. I keep forgetting that I'm cropped this way. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a tighter crop for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> I've I've worked with him. It's the safest thing. Mm-hmm. It's true. <laughs> well, I couldn't even pop right. I don't want to dry any more drink. But yeah, you can see the difference between the two thighs. Here is the dry brush on the one side, and then you have the other one that hasn't been hit yeah, yet. See? Yeah, see. Yeah. Amazing. Really... It really is just something that yeah, it's like it's not changes a, it. Hard to oh wait, come on, camera. Yeah, I couldn't quite get it to. Yeah. Show well, but the camera's like that's not a face, that's go. a green thing. I don't know what, what that doing? is, but I'm not showing it. Fine. <laughs> that's the thing. I think once it's like it goes to a different color, it stops trying to recognize the facial details on the miniatures. Like, nope. Cause I'll find that happens. It's like that's not a human. That's green. I mean, well spotted camera. <laughs> I, I guess. But yeah, just doing this, it'll help. See, bringing it all. And you're right. You do. Else. I mean, as someone who like is terrified of paintbrushes, you definitely do get a feel for it after a little mm-hmm. while. Because mm-hmm. like, I know, like, I was just, I was distinctly painting some spots, but yeah, they were uh-huh. still wet enough that I was able to kind of like not wipe it away, but yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Just a little okay. glow and I mean, setting I could powder. Keep doing this forever, but like at what I point really do you could, feel? Yeah. You can. 
you really can get lost it's, in doing it's this. It's like the, it's just that everything's coming out now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the joys of dry brushing, folks. But you can see all these lovely extra yummy details coming out. Okay, so let me stop and see if I can do this one. Yeah. More like slaughter rose from the shred. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? What? Dance Wait, being wow. silly and chat again, and I love it. <laughs> can we get, can we, will you work for me this time, please? Yo, there it did. Go. Look at you. Look oh at girl, that. Girl, look at that. <laughs> First yeah. time, folks. Don't forget doing all right mm -hmm. there we go all right i got it you got it you absolutely have the feel for it here. awesome yep yeah. oh, sorry that way there we go right in the great yep. divide right in the yeah great that way. divide uh, my the, my back side looks better than my front side <laughs> also this slot you have to know you good. have to learn, you have to know your strengths see there mm -hmm. you go mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. i hello. adore the two of you hello <laughs> yep yep I'm not sure why anyone has the both of us anywhere, honestly. <laughs> truly. Truly. Because you bring smiles and joy wherever you go and terribly interesting to boot. Um, okay, let's see here. I think I'm almost done. And that's just it. Like I'm I'm doing the same thing you were just talking about. Like, oh maybe a little bit more here. Oh maybe a little bit more here. I'm I'm purposely rin I'm purposely rinsing out the brush, so I'm gonna make myself stop. <laughs> there you go. Mm, yeah, I think I have just wise. a couple more brushes across this foot is what I'm Just a few more and it'll be done. Just a few more. Just, just yeah. a little bit. Just, just, just. Maybe a little <laughs> bit more on the thigh. Yeah, maybe a little more on this thigh. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay, like stop. Really, I need to stop. Yeah. I need to stop. I need to stop. Um, but you can see how everything is starting to come together. So you can see how there is this darker tone where you put in all that dark sea gray. Then you mm -hmm. have the base coat of the refractive green. You can see now the dry brush mix that we just did on the legs playing out the texture here. But you also see up here, you have this brighter tone of green playing underneath the rest of the basic highlight that we just put all over. So little, little subtle shifts and differences will add to giving it more of a realistic sort of look to its flesh. So there's that. And so if you want to take a progress shot here, folks, now is the time. And we have about 45 minutes left too. Just to give you a heads up, we have 45 minutes left. We should be able to accomplish the rest that's at hand. Um, but give this a couple precious moments to dry. And as you do that, rinse your brush out, dry your brush out, your, your uh, details brush, or not your, your um, multi-purpose brush. Get that cleaned and dry. And then we're going to go to Parasite Brown. Uh, we won't be needing to mix. So we'll be working directly from the pot. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> Look better coming than going, said Matt. Oh, about wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm so if you want to have um... your progress shared, right now is the time to take a picture of your miniature for those of you playing the home game. And I'm gonna hop over in just a minute and take a look at what everyone is doing. Right now I'm just getting sh everything on my end. No, I'm still seeing some green there, I wanna get off. Rinsing my brush off. And also, this is a fun thing about your paper towels and your hands if you're like me. You start getting some lovely artwork in and of itself. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Right? I've had oh some minis gosh. where I've actually saved the paper towel because it came out looking really pretty. And I liked it and I wanted to keep it that way. Okay. This is so cool. <laughs> this is really... Fun? This is so cool. Awesome. I'm happy. Okay, so I am still... Mine needs to dry. I'm going to go back over to submissions. So, actually, let me refresh first before we do. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Refresh. Did you say we're working with Parasite Brown, you said, right? Parasite Brown, yep. So now let's go take ahead and a make look. sure it's not chunky. Oh and my submission. god, Fort so Mirror Hakuna have... Oh, Maslata. look at you! That's looking awesome! Look at all the details popping out. This is this is Eugenio's. It's Parasite, yeah, yeah. Parasite yeah, there are parts here and there that nope, I... That's Beastie Brown. But this is still your first mini ever. And oh, absolutely. And it's fantastic. 
That's really Aaron's good. Best. Okay, self is going moving along with their oh self. I also Look love that. that mini. What? <gasps> That's mini? really what is that mini? Such a cool <laughs> mini. I should have asked that sooner. We're gonna have to go back and um, self is my name. I'm gonna check out what self is my name is painting after the fact. Okay. Um, cakes oh of bananas. Cakes of, oh, there's cakes some of bananas. Cakes yes. of bananas. <laughs> yes. Yes. And we're back to the Katie's dice. Okay, so those those are all the submissions we have for now. Uh, da, da, but oh, and Brian, where's yours? It just showed up. Oh yeah. Look at you. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. We're seeing it. Hooray! Look at the next side. Look at, yes. look at the next... I've been yes. taking no pictures all the of the bottom of my the texture. Slide. That's amazing. Really, really cool. Okay, great. So, back to the main event, my dears. So right. now what we're gonna do is let me where's Titan the original Forge page from a Titan Forge Patreon. Okay. Mm, nice. Cool. Okay. okay. So you can see we're getting there. See, mm -hmm. we're, we're looking, starting to look like brothers here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take that beast, not the beastie brown, the parasite brown, and we're going to okay. play around with adding that tone to the legs. Okay, this okay. is focusing on the legs, a very light, dry brush. That Oof. color we just put on has heightened the color enough, so you'll see there's more of a noticeable shift in tone that yeah. was done on purpose. Okay, if we had done that before, it actually would have blended the two to look almost too much like each other. So now we're going to so go in with Parasite Brown. Sort of a primer for the Parasite Brown. Yep, yep, it's brush. to help that play up more. Yep. Luckily, okay, no need so. to thin. Just carefully open and then dip your brush in, dry brush off, or, you know, on the paper towel, and then you shift it over to the miniature as soon as it gets to that point where you're noticing the color is coming oh, out to play. That's a little too much. Yep. Oh, still too much. Still too much. A little too much. Um, so I'm going to actually start working... Okay. Where's my mini here? <laughs> Don't Did you lose your mini. I've lost them. Did you lose your okay. mini? Okay, here we go. Mini down. Not mini down. Mini not down, mini driver. Mini, down. mini gone. Oh, mini wow. gone. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah. I feel like so I gotta be careful with this. I, is, yeah, this I, is I, no I longer in the green family. Nope. So it's V right, noticeable. I'm, mm hmm It's me noticeable. To read, I'm having to read ah, it. It's V noticeable. I realized after I said it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm having to slightly redo the the, where I, I didn't dry brush properly, so I'm re, okay. re plopping the last color That's back fine. over that spot. You, can, yep, you absolutely can do that. But it's just lightly taking this parasite brown. And you'll notice, especially where the other colors were, it's going to start popping out a new tone. Big time. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, what? Didn't quite... That brush was a little wet. It's oh. fine. Less, less right, dry, I'm more wet. I'm blotting. I'm blotting. It's blotting. fine. Blot it. Blot it. Ah, uh -uh. I found <laughs> the offending area. Anyway. Oh, you did? Yeah. Sometimes there's like a secret spot on the brush that there just is holding okay. on to paint. Yeah, That's... It's just hiding all of the paint inside. Yeah. And I will say, if this is something you want to start exploring more, I would recommend getting a full set of brushes and... If you practice more with a flat style brush, it's a heck of a lot easier. The round can sometimes present challenges because it's, you know, a rounder shape. And the flat brushes are just a tiny bit better for beginners with learning how to dry brush. I'm just gonna go through here. Oh, get in there. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Which you can see. Oh, I'm getting... All right. Uh, 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 uh. Just enough so you get that hint of the the green, uh, the brown over the green. I'm gonna go in and just do a little bit here in the lower section, you know, just just kind of pull it through. The lower the sections. The legs. Yeah, the meeting of the legs, <laughs> the underbelly, I guess we can call it, safely. <laughs> Is that what we yeah, call it's, it? It's 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 the under something. It's the under something. Under the carriage. Undercarriage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Monsters. Downstairs garden. Yes. Downstairs garden. Oh, it's the lower my. service area. That's what I'm calling. Yes. So you can see here. <laughs> we're getting what this kind transition of, of color. Me? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay. 
If we do this on my channel, we can steer more blue, I promise. But And this is, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And this is, uh, we're just doing lower body with this. Just doing the lower body. So the, the legs okay. and just that little bit here on the tummy. Oh, I see. You okay, great. See. Yep. Yeah. Just through there. Yeah, mine's going to be a little more intense on the brown, but... It's okay. Yeah, I'm definitely it's seeing that my, I... It's my beautiful child, and I love it. That's right. And that's what matters. He just, he just, he, he was in some mud, and he just got you, out of it. Oh, so no. He's... Oh, mm -hmm. I, oh, I got mud on, okay, hold on. I may, I may fix the, I got some on the butt where I didn't want to, hold on. That's okay. Okay. Totally good. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> but I gotta say, I'm impressed with how you guys are picking this up, especially for never having picked up minis and brushes before together. You're doing quite well. I don't want to understate how much I didn't just not pick up a brush, but like actively avoided them. Mm, <laughs> I, I enjoyed coloring coloring books in the lines. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Beyond that, no. Nah, nah. <laughs> Not so but much. this is great. Okay, that is going to do that though. There we go. Here we go. Work it around. There. there we go. Okay. I... Sorry. It's okay. So you gotta have that look. Okay, well. And then, sure. because you see where the hands are sort of hitting too, I'm going to do a little bit onto the hands, on the oh, fingers. Okay. Actually, before I read it, let's see. And bring it up and just kind of uh, stop it a little yeah. bit above the wrist. Just like that. I think I have just finally now that I'm doing the hands gotten to the correct amount of paint on my brush. <laughs> that happens sometimes too. That's okay. It, I mean, I don't mind the way it looks, but I definitely feel like, oh, this is what it was supposed oh, to be doing. Oh, this is what right. it yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm getting the technique down, but yeah, it's very much like, yeah. oh. oh. Now I get it. And that that's just it. That as you're painting your minis, you start getting the feel for it better. Um, mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's always fun seeing how the various colors start to pull together in ways you wouldn't have expected. Is always the fun thing. A little bit more on the hand, other hand. Okay, well, let's pretend that all of this brown dry brushing looks like it does on the hands and we'll be very pleased. <laughs> okay. There you go. The inside of the hand, that palm is always a tricky reach. Oh, come on, open up. <laughs> Don't you wish? Sometimes it's like it's so much relax. easier. It's like, could you could you just, just unflex? Relax. Thank you. Just yes. unflex for a second now. Yeah. It's like where you feel you feel for the manicurist. You're like, oh. I got more. Well, definitely got more brown deed. <laughs> a little okay. bit more brown leg. It's fine. That's okay. <sighs> like, like okay. yeah, it, yep, it kind of got okay. a little more bronze down here. Well, maybe but... they were wearing shorts out at the beach one day. Oh. Yeah, mine did, mine did too. Wait, I'll show you in a minute. I'm trying to get half decent pictures because this webcam hates this. Okay, so I'm going to stop there with mine so that you end up with this sort of a. Yeah, look yours to is. It. Yeah, I'm getting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, See, I'm, you're, yeah, I'm like you've yours. Got... Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. wait. Come on. No, wait. This way. Oh, there you go. Hide your face because when you pulled back, it focused because it was focusing on your face. There you go. It's looking good. That's See definitely good. I'll post good. the pictures, but the hands look very cool. I think the hands look like they were meant to with this. Yeah, yeah I think I'm dry brushing. Yeah, the the, more, yeah, the like, legs and one, like one of his ankles just looks like yeah. I dipped it in chocolate. And then if you're feeling brave, this is completely up to you. I do like to put a little bit of this Parasite Brown along the lips. You don't have to. Oh, do Parasite Brown along the lips. Okay, wait. Yeah, mm. you don't I... have to do this step if you don't want to. Well, now I've got the right I amount of paint. I got the right, yeah, I'm like. Yeah. So yeah, that was okay. It. That's the amount that I needed the first time. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Same. silly Just Billy. Just a light touch. Same. Okay, yeah. and that is going to be it for our parasite brown. So you can cap that up safely. 
we do want that to dry just a little bit. So I'm going to go back to rinsing my brush. And again, you in painting pirate, absolutely webcams and mini painting. <laughs> They can battle with each other sometimes. And also because light has shifted on me, I'm having to play with my camera settings. I will yeah. say that my camera is actually far better than it used to be. So you can actually get a sense of what's happening here. But I have been toggling between my contrast and brightness um, as light plays around in my room. Because, you know, I'm not exactly in complete and total darkness and can use studio lighting. Um, but this gives you a sense of how things are looking at this point based off of mine. You guys ready to check out others? I doing this before the sun goes down. <laughs> yeah, I just right? put mine up there. You can actually okay, see what yeah. it looks like. <laughs> yep, I am seeing yours. So let's go to at least catch yours. Oh, now I want chocolate, Maverick. I know I was the one that said it, but. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, look at that. You, you, you're you getting that. Look at that detail. Yeah, it's getting there. I, yeah. I specifically did not take a picture of the part that like is just brown on, mm -hmm. on the angle. <laughs> I think Brian's was the last one we looked at before. Yeah, that's before the. But you definitely have some great color happening there in the legs. That's looking, you're yeah. being far too hard on yourself, quite frankly. That's no, no, good. well, no. And, and honestly, you know, I'm just, yeah. I'm half doing it for a good time because I, yeah, you know, it's well, my first time. <laughs> but also, just I, your, it's like really, your first that's just time. Brown. You're doing a great job. <laughs> no, it looks good. Excellent. It's, it's just brown. It's fine. Brian, yeah, you yeah. yours in there too? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Eh, yeah, definitely, a, definitely a muddier day at the flats than mm. than it is. Oh, thanks, Jordan. But you know, I'm taking. Oh, thank you so much for. Uh, don't forget, check out on their socials, oh, DM Jazzy you. Hands and Urban Bohemian. Oh. Seriously, you need to catch both of them streaming the various games. Uh, like I said, Ryan does cooking and drink show, like the mixing ever. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, your Saturday morning stream, like that's my way to start my yes. weekend now. Yes. I will jump in. It's like I will hang out in my bed and just like listen to what you're doing. And then I get up and I'll have my cup of tea, put around and everything. It's just a wonderful way to start your weekend. Uh, so do be sure to check out both of their Twitch channels. Subscribe or follow. No, follow. I'm thinking I'll see you. <laughs> I mean, also, you if you're sub, new here, you subscribe to our YouTube channel here at WizKids and also follow on Twitch. And hello, Raiders. Raiders, Thank welcome. You. Oh, goodness, some idle, ch Lovely. some uh, uh, CNE Games Thank Raiders. Thank you so much for joining us. We're making some progress Yay. with our slatty laddies of the green variety. And let's see here. Do we get... Uh, do, 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 do. Are you still working on posting yours, Brian? <laughs> it's there. It's, it's, it's there. there. <laughs> it is. It is. Okay, let me see. It's not showing up yet. All right, so we'll check it out later. Let's go back to the main event here, my darlings. Oh, there, okay, I just found it. so it just popped up for me. It just oh, popped it up, good, of course. Brian. So this is where we're at now, and now we're going to move over well. to black green. Okay, so the last mm. of our greens that we haven't touched yet, we're using this black green, and you're going to go to the details brush. And then don't forget, oh, since we're getting a lovely raid, don't forget when you hit exclamation point code, you get an Electrum chest code. <sighs> Yeah, and so uh, you can use that, that for your <laughs> idle champion. Right. Oh, shoot. Let me, uh, let me open that. No, I'm going to write it down. No, I'm just going to write it down. I'll put it well, in. Well, it'll also be there in the VOD. And the it actually, the code is good for a month. So if you missed it live, you can go back into the chats and activate the code. And there you okay, go. So black, black, green. Black, green. And we're going to go in with the details brush. So the fine details brush, which is the much smaller, tinier point. Um, some of you may have catch me just licking my brushes. I do that a little bit far too often. <laughs> um, it helps okay, radium brush. girl. Thank God I wasn't, because that would have been me. Um, oh my so God. going in just a little bit like we did before, just a little bit of green on the tip of your brush. And I'm actually going to remove a little bit more from there. And then what you want to do with this you're going to apply this to your spikes on the back and on the shoulders and the arms, those spikes that you're seeing sticking out. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, That's going to uh -huh. go on all of those. Um, okay. And then I'm also going to do um, a little bit in the eye sockets and then also that part of the curvature in the mouth. But I'm going to first start with doing the spikes. Okay, so, so paint those spikes up with the dark, or was it black green? Yes, black green. Just work your way around. Oh, this okay. playlist slaps. Ooh. Oh, I had to stop listening to it so I could focus, but this is such a good Yeah, playlist. I had to stop listening so I can focus. Otherwise, I'm just going to sit here dancing and singing, and that's not what the show is supposed to be. Well, all right, that's, I'll do that's that. That's an entirely different show. No place by the beach. 
<laughs> that is a good song though. Oh yeah, like never. Oh wait, never be by just is that just Glenn? That's a good oh, one. Off the top of my head, yeah. So this is interesting because I definitely didn't not paint these spikes before. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I think but yeah, I this notice. is this is that this is that precision work. I'm like ah. Yeah, and honestly, just a slight dollop on top. If you if you don't want to get too close to the body, you can just keep it focused to the upper portion of your spikes, and you don't have to bring it down as deeply. That is immediately that is immediately coming out wow. as a different color. Like it's just yeah. like okay. Yeah, yeah. I see it you. makes them pop back out rather than but blending. I'm afraid them I'm gonna in. miss it. There you go. And there are a couple where it's even just like a little dab of paint will do a deal. Yeah. You're a little nubbin. Hold on. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what those are, is a little nubbin. Dancing, singing, painting, Red Slot Night actually sounds interesting. Well, my Yes. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm, I was going to dance while I tried and did this, but this is not the step to dance See? During. Yeah. I was trying to see if I can get like a, you know, safe music playlist to pull together, but... Uh, that's difficult. It is. It's tricky to find. It's difficult to, to do something for both for both platforms. Yes. Yeah. It really is. I mean, there is Techno Axe, and they're good in a pinch because it's covered for both platforms. Um, but it's not exactly like the most... You want to hear it a little bit louder and blasted. It's very good for background music, so there's something happening in the background. Yeah. Um, but it's not like your main song to move and groove to type of thing. Hence my little, a little too much, but you know what? It's That's fine. okay. We're getting all of our spikes. Whoops, hello. Open it, what? Oh. Well, you are a little spiky fellow, aren't you? Mm hmm. Come on. Oh, all right. Oh, goodness. I got actually. There we go. I got to see it. Tiny little nub. <laughs> I'm just glad this entire stream has not been me going. Mm, mm, right? <laughs> there is. And what's funny is, I didn't realize it, but there is definitely like painter face when you're mm -hmm. concentrating yeah. and you're really focused. Oh, yeah. And I had one. Um, and then when I started streaming painting, uh, my lovely followers were like, you're doing your painting face again. So I've kind of, <laughs> um, I've learned to stop making my painting face. <laughs> But when I know I'm off camera, like there are times I'm like, <laughs> I'll be pulling faces for sure in concentration. But yeah, it's just basically working this black green on the spikes around the. He's bottom. got arm spikes too, doesn't he? Damn it. He does. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, doing the under, I'm doing the unders yeah. now, and I'm like, oh, you're a tiny dot. Oh, yeah. There's some spikes I on the, the forearms. Right. Uh, yeah, I just saw those. So there's the okay. It's the side. Top mm -hmm. a little bit in the eye sockets and then the two unders. Yep. I forgot okay. what the eye sockets. I'm glad you yeah, said I'll that. show you the eye sockets in a little bit. In terms of what you can do for that. But you can see all these spikes are now okay. making an appearance now that they're not the same color as the rest of the slot. I was gonna say yeah, yeah right. come on. Oh, there you go. A little bit of yeah. spiky. Spiky boy. Mm -hmm. Spiky boy. Come on, get out there. He comes ready to rumble. Whoops. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> Stop, Other touching arm. It. Stop touching it, Brian. Leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> you hit enough. You hit enough. Okay, so those are the spikes. Oops. Painted up, as you can see. Taking yeah. on that different color. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rinse my brush a little bit. And just blot it. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the same with this black green color. I'm going to I remove watch this before I finish these spikes. I got a little bit more of the paint than I wanted. So I used my hand to remove that. And now I'm going to go into the eyes. And this is what helps create this sinister expression on this creature. You're <laughs> going to take the black green and you're going to paint in the eye socket area. Like so. And then you see there's like this little overhang. 
at the uh -huh. brow. I'm going to do ah. a very light pulling out line See. there. Uh, Eyeliner like, makes you know, everybody sexy or cool. I was cool. gonna say hello. Almost like you know, walk like an Egyptian type of thing. Just to kind of give them these darker, deep set eyes. So it goes from having like this cute little grinish, grinning face, I should say, to oh, there's something happening now. So that's what you want to do with the eyes. Let's get that green in there. Okay. You can even go over the eyeball with that. Okay. And you may find it helps to turn it upside down, too, to get into those other areas that I was just talking about. Oh, because then they're, yeah, they're curved up. Oh. Yep. Yeah. So there you go. So now. Were you doing, did you do under the eyeball as well? Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Okay. But see, now he has this darker look to the eyes. A little less friendly that way. And you can also, if you want to, go here on the mouth and deepen that a little bit if you so choose. Just that little spot right there. <sighs> Pop if you that want, eye if you out want, and get it want. right in the socket. Yep. If you want. You don't have to do that part. But there. So it exaggerates his grin and it enhances the eyes doing that. So that's for the Sorry, dark. What was the grin? I keep blocking. looking down right when you're messing with his mouth. It was Where did you do it on the mouth? Right here. Oh, okay. So that little exterior. Got yeah, it, got it, got it. A little outside portion right there. Got it. Is where you go. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that should take care of our black green. And let's see. We're already at 610. So um, we might go a little bit longer. Are you guys okay to go beyond 630? Or do you need to call it at 630? Oh. I'm okay for a yeah. little okay? bit after, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, I just want to be respectful of your time. I appreciate you asking. So now that we have that going. Yes. Look at that. Same Look at that like face. It's, it's, yeah. I'm, all, I'm all about these spikes. Oh, come on. Uh, yeah, spikes the spikes are, are fun. fun. The spikes are absolutely a lot of fun. And it makes a little them. difference just putting that on there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to Park Green Flat on its own. No having to mix or anything like that. Sticking with that details brush. And we're going to have some more fun with the spikes. And you're going to put just a tiny little dot of this at the... I swear, this oh. slot gives me challenging phrasing. Uh, you're going to put a dot on the tip of the spike. Right. Okay. <laughs> so just the spike? Just just the, just the spikes are getting this treatment, mm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And if what? you don't feel quite comfortable doing that. <laughs> right. We are in public. Right. You're on stream. This is how it goes on stream. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fair. Mm-hmm. And it's just a little little touch. I do laugh that before uh, before each call time arrival, oh, yeah. Penyo mm -hmm. and I have to make sure that we know where each other's camera is <laughs> in mm -hmm. the Zoom so chat window, looking. so we can be like, I can do the. <laughs> yep. No, it's it's part, I, it's part of our ritual. No. We open Audacity to get the audio. We make sure that we've got the cameras going, and then we check to see where each other are, so we can yeah. make faces. Which I mean, I do the same thing too, with uh, Jeremy and Donbringers. Yes. He's positioned below, so I have fun like giving him rabbit ears, or I do claw hands for moose, moose antlers, I should say. Um, it's nice when you can interact with each other like that, though, even though you're miles away. This is so cool what this is doing. You like it? Yes. It's like Excellent. a highlight for the, I mean, it's like. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Telling you, I want this to be the next Drag Race challenge. You know, I, or maybe I, I would see I would say in a mini challenge, <laughs> except this takes forever. <laughs> right? It's it's not quite the timing wise that could work. It could be a um if they give them the start it up a little bit. 
They can still true. do the dry brushing. And, and they only need to do, they only really need to do the face because uh, the idea of the challenge, true. I've just decided, hey, RuPaul, call me. Um, right. <laughs> not that I'm going to do it. I'm just going to give you this idea. Uh, that they have to come up with a look, whatever that week's runway theme is, category mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. But then they also have to bring out the mini that they did either to complement or to mimic Ooh, their runway you. look. That would work. Look at you. So it's just a little subtle touch, but again, it makes come them. Out, but yeah, oh, come on. Add two more. Hold on, I'll be right there and I'll show you. There you go. It's like just Oops, a little, yeah, mm -hmm. it's like a little. Boop. Yeah, just that little. Does that little boop of color show, makes all the difference? Yeah, it kind of does. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now you want to make sure you are very much we'll rinsing your brush off because we're going to move over to light Ow. blush. So try <laughs> oh, <laughs> make yeah. sure you okay. get all the green off of your detail brush. Little nail snag me. <laughs> oh, awkwardish the panda. To well, get you. Awkwardish panda. You can always download the guide, and that way you can have that, so you can paint, and you can also rewatch this again and catch all of our goofballness. If and Awkward so Panda is very, very good at, oh. very good with Ooh. the uh, mini painting. So I cannot wait to see what you come up with. Yes, yeah, Sly Therius, if you take a look, it is Red Slod Paint Night live stream, but it's also we're turning the Red Slod green as a uh, showing how you can use the paints for an additional round of miniatures. Um, these are the paints I used for the original Red Slod that I painted with Greg Tito and Shelley Mazanoble. Uh, he's actually right here. So not only have I just painted, I have I oh, look at him. this wow. one. Oh my gosh. But I've painted this one, and now I am painting this one. So I'm already up to three <laughs> minis being used with these paints. Uh, you do get a lot of mileage out of the paints that come in these kits, and that is the purpose of what we are doing here. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you, and actually, I have painted six minis now using this paint set. I take that back because I did a couple with uh, the Dire Trolls. So now that we have them here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to light flesh and we're going to bring out the teeth and we're going to use a dry brush technique using the detail brush. All right. So you're going to very lightly take light flesh, no pun intended, and you're going to pull that across the texture of the teeth in the mouth. So that will help help them pop out and enhance this the light, light flesh. And this flesh. is un, unaltered light mm -hmm. flesh, just, mm -hmm. just, just straight, straight, not thinned, yep. not, okay. This is a, yep. a bit of a dry brush bit. Yep. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. And I'm actually gonna do for these fangs that are sticking out more prominently, and they're a little bit bigger. I'm gonna paint them a little bit, just going in tiny little dabs at a time. Now I need to see because I feel like my fangs. Actually, you know, I just this figured is, out how to dry brush me. with the other brush. So now I gotta figure out how to do it with this one. <laughs> mm. It's a little bit more challenging because it is a details brush. Okay, I may have to hold on. See that on camera because yeah. my my fangs were not looking as prominent to me, yeah. but now I see it. Yeah, you'll you may find like it's actually painting the fangs, and then when you go across, because there are teeth on the upper portion. Okay, they're not teeth on the and bottom. They're just, just on the. the top. Okay, good. I was very just concerned. The <laughs> there are two small fangs that do live on the bottom. Now I make... see them. I completely because of course with the yep. washing of the red and then the green, I completely yep. missed them. But now, yeah, but now because they look clear them. as day on yours, right there. That's why I'm pausing so you can see between. And now I have this row of teeth at the top that I'm going to just lightly, very small controlled strokes. I'm actually going to turn him upside down to make I it easier. I may have gotten a little uncontrolled there, but. That is okay. I'm reminding myself it's my first time. And that's just it. So then that way you get. This you don't know grin. this, but I have that phrase just on loop in my ear right now. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how you get Look, I have a team. lot of, I have a lot of gifted child syndrome to overcome here right now. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I understand that. Hello. <laughs> I understand that completely. So there we go. That's well, a little messy, but I'm okay with that. Yep. So now you got him grinning. All of those fangs look good. Isn't that fun? So there we go with the teeth. Right, the teeth. Get the fangs in there. Yep, we're using oh, leftover sorry. paint, Sly. Um, and mm. that's the other thing: as we get more and more of these paint kits coming out, you get more and more colors that are happening, which means you'll be able to do even more variations of other miniatures to bring into this. Uh, but we are at this point now, so we have those eyes and the spikes are taken care of. Uh, one thing we're going to do now, and I did make a point to rinse my brush again. I'm going to take the light flesh 
And yes, I know. I mean, if there's anyone watching me, I know there's me like, you just licked your brush tip again. I know, I do it. Uh, what I'm going to do it. is <laughs> taking the light flesh, and this is optional, okay? This is for those who are a little bit more experienced. If you want to do this with your mini, I'm going to do the light flesh Fire it. on the eyeball. And to do that, it helps to sort of hold it into the palm of your hand. Press Ooh, your other okay. hand up against like this. Okay, it gives you far more control uh -huh. doing it like that. Okay. okay. And then pull it in close to your body. Lock your elbows like you're praying almost. And then you can get in. Wouldn't there. know. <laughs> you wouldn't know. Okay. Okay. And just put a little dollop there on the eyes. So he has like that glowing eye effect since they have that magical aspect to them. I'm going to do the same. I'm actually going to rinse the tip of my brush. I don't like a super glowy sclera, but like just this kind of like, ooh. Yeah, just that eerie enough glow, <laughs> if you will. I'm so glad yeah. for the These detail brush. Like look this. like. Oh, I think I'm going to go with it, it. It was a splotch, but I'm going to go with it. Okay. So are you doing the whole of the eyeball or just sort of the middle just, in there? Just the middle in there. Okay. And it gives you this intense glare as a result i'm not my my glare is a little less intense. that's not but, what mine looks okay. like but that's okay it's a little <laughs> less intense but it's still menacing yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what you can do with the eyeballs if you so choose again that's something you can omit if you don't feel comfortable there we go there, there you go you got it nice. you absolutely got it lovely they, up close they look like uh this is so specific but if any of you watch rick and morty they look like the pupils in rick and morty which are just like totally oh. like not at all round they're like blobby and mm -hmm. they look like a bunch of like dots yeah, that's like, what this looks like yep absolutely all right let me just quickly check here ah looks like we're having some fun here and thank you for everyone hanging out with us in the chats it's great to see everyone yeah. sticking around especially the raiders yes, who are sticking is. around and hanging oh, out wait. lovely thank you okay. oh i should Thanks. also say um for those of you who managed to uh, who are able to and hang out till the bitter end uh, mm. I do have uh, my <laughs> my partner and an artist friend of mine are also doing slods in the other room, uh, mm -hmm. painting along with us. And I want to show you uh, their things at the end too. Oh, I'd love um, to see that. Because I just got an update, I, not pictures, but an update text from Sam. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm very excited to see them. Oh, can't wait. All right. Um, so now we're going to go to black and we're, doing, we're doing a Manny Petty. Yay! So the black is going to go on the claws as well as onto the claw, the toenail claws, toe claws. Okay, go with me here though. What if, mm -hmm. what if the slot had a mani pedi and we use that beautiful hex lichen? I like, can we go with it. the? Can we? Yeah, I was gonna say, can, is it you okay if to? we go with the little like? You know? If you yes, the two of you go with the hex lichen, by all means. And. Yep, I know what highlight what color you can use from that. So, yep, got, go yeah, ahead and use that. Is that, is that, cool? that going to ruin the next step nope. at all? Nope, okay. not at all, because I know well, what color like, you can sub I don't know. What if, like, jungle? What if, like, there was, like, a jungle red? Oh. oh. If you want to oh. do the red. Okay, so if you want to make them red, then use the heavy red first on the, the claws, red. and then you save oh, the Oh, and then come. And then go back oh. to that bright red. Because Ooh. you know what just do with the spikes? Do we want to use for this? Do we want to keep it the detail? Okay. Yeah, definitely keep it to the details. Yeah, I'm giving it. I'm definitely giving them some. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, you're gonna spill all over the place, aren't you? Hold on. Shake it up. But yeah, so <laughs> you can absolutely use both of those colors, and then I'll let Oops. you know what you can use for the next step. Since uh, that was the paint I'm not using. <laughs> okay. Don't forget, there's four on the one foot for the claws. Oh right. And there's Oof, three on the okay. other foot. And you're going to find oh. that the claws on the hand, they can be a little tricky. So do the best you can with it and definitely shift around to get different angles on it. That will absolutely be your friend moving the miniature around a bit more. This can't, this is not good video content, what I'm doing right now, but oh well. <laughs> what? Well, I'm all the way bent over, so you can just see my ball. You can just see the top of your head. Oh, <laughs> you're fine. You're absolutely fine, not to worry. Absolutely fine. 
Yep. And don't forget, for those of you in the chat, we have that lovely Idol Champions Electrum chess code in there for you. Just type an exclamation point, a code, and that will pop up for your, your use. Uh, if you're not sure what Idol Champions is, then uh, just type an exclamation point, out. Idols, teeny, and teeny, check tiny toesy that right out. Over there. And go to look. It's an, actually, it's a fun game. D and D them the, themed. I mean, you know, themed. D and D themed. Themed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, no, that's not a like, fun wait, one to check out. Just do the toes. Ooh, look just at a that. little. Oh no. yes, that it. pedicure though. <laughs> yes. yes, Send absolutely. me your text name. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I there like the idea of the purple on the on the claws. Yeah, though, I can't so. wait to see what it looks Let like. Me... I'm I'm going on. Oh come on. Oh no. That, oh the... yeah. I mean, it look it looks great, but the the white balance on my camera is not happy right now. Yeah, that's yeah. Okay. Let me rinse this out with right. some purple for the for the claws, because yes. And then yes, if you need those uh, instructions, instructions three, but you need to use exclamation point, Narisa, not a not a hashtag. And that should get the instructions for you. Idle champs, which I gotta say was pretty cool to now be able to play. Uh, yeah. Shaka and Celise, two of the rivals in Idol mm -hmm. Champions. Like, mm -hmm. I'm now going on a spree and asking everyone. I'm like, oh, do you have a do you have a character in? Okay, tell me what there are because the next time gate, I'm getting your character. Like, mm -hmm. yep, that's mm -hmm. what I've been doing. I'm gonna make it work. All of I don't I don't care if it's not a good formation or not. I'm gonna make it work. No. All of our characters. Yeah. Quite frankly, I think that's how I'm gonna lean into playing it too. Is more I'm enjoying the these characters are fun to watch. It's not the best tactical, but they're still fun to watch. Well, and I definitely sit there and just imagine that it's actually my friends that are, you know, uh -huh. firing Eldritch Blasts and throwing their shield. And um, absolutely, I recently got Lauren's character Okira. So I gotta get Okira. I gotta hop in, in and get Okira. She's real good. I gotta tell you, mm -hmm. she's real That's good. What I'm hearing. Okay, just so you know, acrylics are fifty extra. Okay, you good? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Right? The slot is like, oh no, I'm not paying for acrylic, so you can just do the regular tips. Thank you. How the mm -hmm. underside of these fingernails are a, little a real pain in the ass. They are. They really, like I said, they're they're gonna be a tricky reach. Uh do the best you can. Okay. Wow. Um the big thing is just I don't wanna slip and like get purple on his leg. And that's just it. If you if you feel like you're in a spot you really just can't reach, don't worry. Don't make yourself um stressed trying to reach a spot that just remember it's a three foot rule okay for the most part you're not gonna be like being like hey look at the mini really up close to your face well, and tell me what fair. you think i hadn't thought about that but that's yeah. a good point but well, you this don't you don't all have cvs have pedestals explain. at home that you just close in and spin. Uh, <laughs> i mean i'm not saying anything to that one <laughs> <laughs> wise all right we're gonna call that okay. hand done for now made us some manicure wait a minute go oh wait a minute i just saw a white oh spot i'm sorry this purple is so good uh, right okay i have to move to the other hand but this is never gonna get done yeah there's just some interesting spots um that's where if you uh again invest in brushes some of them actually have bent yeah. angles to them and really? that, just that would yeah mm -hmm. i can see how that would be very very helpful yeah it does get to those angles you just can't get to uh at the Ugh. moment okay i have to pull out from frame because the camera is getting in my way bear with me folks oh god how am i gonna get these nails oh god there are re it's not it's not great I'm not doing a great job of the back. Right, I'm glad. I'm okay yeah, this is that. this is this is going for coverage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Only that me can fair. judge me at this point. So that's no. That's right. That's right. I mean, I'm even having issues reaching certain points. This is like yeah. That. This is a lot, but I'm liking how it's coming out. I'm eager to see what it looks like. I just totally did. I, I press it, away the red that I put on the. Okay, I gotta redo the. I gotta redo you, Tozy. I. I, I Sorry, so it's like little. me painting my nails in real life, where I'll go to move right? to another one and then smear the last one. Uh huh. Yep. There are just some angles I cannot get under camera. 
And this trying is to make sure I'm getting where the actual one of those claws cases. are. Although, I feel like the claws almost have like, you know, like they don't just stop, like they almost kind of extend a little bit. Like I'm, I'm being a little messy they at the do. end of the claws. Oh yeah. yeah, but it's hard to tell at this point. I, also, my paint, my green paint went way over the claws, so it's sort of hard to tell where they end. Yeah, they this, do this, have an this elongated. This is my concept now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so then the purple. Oh, come on. No, I mean, purple's not i mean hey, yeah the purple's so. coming out i'm liking it i mean it really is playing into the sinister colors when you do it with that we're like a mini petty oh dear i really oh, wish i hadn't that? even i wish that? i was hadn't even pirate? looked at chat you know that was pirate i wish i hadn't looked it at chat pirate. what damn Wait, it <laughs> oh, we're like a mini petty rude rude <laughs> Using using the knowledge you've taught me, I'm mm -hmm. going to try to highlight these toes with the lighter red. Yes. Um, give him a second to dry though. Okay, just, okay we're gonna lean Just down so you're not again. pulling because if you if you actually go in and the paint is still wet, you could run the risk of pulling the paint off. I okay. I've done that with um like way long time ago, like trying to do mm -hmm. like model car painting for mm -hmm. scouts and stuff. Yeah, you were talking box about car box derby. Mm-hmm. Jinx, buy me a coat. Which oddly enough, our, our car was the car was a metallic green. Oh, oh really? So yeah. Well then. <clears throat> I have to pull out from another frame again. I'm sorry, folks. It's just these back of the claws are I can't imagine trying to do this all in one place. I have been every which way. Right, like I <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm looking forward to stretching out and playing some Animal Crossing this evening. <laughs> <gasps> nice. Oh, so I wonder has, has summer fireworks night started yet? I wonder. I don't know yet. Um, I haven't seen. Yeah. I haven't actually played in the evening. I need to do an evening play because there are some bugs I'm trying to catch. Some of the beetles. I should flip over one of my. Uh, I always just do Sunday mornings, but I should flip those over since I've now mm -hmm. learned how to do the time clock in the game. I should flip it to the mm -hmm. evening. Ooh, yeah. That would be fun to watch play out. Be... You should come to my island. Are you still? Yes, I am. It's been going the whole time. I told you. Okay, here we go with mine. What does love Ooh. have to do with it? Oh my God, yes. Ooh. Total goth. Mm. Although you've kind of inspired me. So in the instructions for these claws once they dry, I go in and I recommend using the dark sea green in my instructions of the original. Don't do it. So, which is what I have done here, okay? To give it more of that green tone. I'm gonna have some fun. Yeah, do and it. And I'm gonna use the hex lichen for my highlight yes. over the glass. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do that finish. for this guy. But it needs to dry a little bit more. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly rinse my brush off. <laughs> And get that all out there. You need a tiny, tiny lighter. So that's the vermilion mm -hmm. highlight. And I am happy with these toesies. Yes. Wait. Ooh. Oh. Wait. Come oh. face. Oh. Face. Fix it. There yes. it is. Yes. Yep. There you go. Oh. There you go. All right. So I'm going to float my own instructions. This honestly <gasps> happens all the time. Oh. I'm the one who did, um, I have to shake my hex like a little bit more. Um, I'm the one who took an Umber Hulk and made it look like a jewel beetle. Yes. And it came out so freaking cool. I love that. I love taking minis and kind of like spinning the expected color combination on them, which is why I enjoyed honestly doing the green slot. Well, look, the next time I have a green slot in game, it's definitely gonna have nails. Nails for days, darling. All right, let me see here. I'm gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna be It's also a glossy Next. black, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. I am I am a You are abstract. Jack. You are. <laughs> I just have like some sort of fungus like, growing on me now. Wee! I have actually I just refuse. I refuse. I'm like, I can't. Uh -uh, when I no. painted no. the Cthulhu <laughs> miniature from Wiz Kids, <laughs> it was up here, it went down here, and the problem was that mini was a base in a blood red. So all oh. of this oh, was a no. very interesting color. Oh. Yes. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. yep. Oh, actually. 
All right, so I'm now what it, what color should I be using on the purple for that? Okay, once it's so dry? for that one, you want to go to um, do you want it to keep it more of a purple tone or do you want to have a hint of red to it? Oh, either way, whatever you think is interesting. I would do. I, I had my fun red. making them purple. So. I, I was thinking I the black, black red, red would be a yeah. good would be a I good. I would do okay. the black red then. Yeah. Okay. Because I was looking and at I the other reds, sure. since there's not really a bluish blue in here. Yeah. yeah. And we're dry brushing this. You're basically just pulling it. Attempts will be made. Sort of across the top, like a light dry brush. Okay. Okay. I love that. Just to kind of accent the top of the nail. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Maybe I'll just give you some dark red tips. Is that good? Tips? Ooh. You Your know, tips are 25. Like tips are 25 extra. Ooh, I'm liking that. Look at that. The black with the lichen. <gasps> yes. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, yeah. If you want to keep it more traditional, then do the dark sea green. Or if you want to have some fun okay, with it, I'm going it really with I'm going pop. with like the really extra bits at the tips with the red. Ooh. That way, it's not. I mean, it's not super. Wait. Oh dang it. <laughs> it's it's not super noticeable. I mean, actually, oh, yeah. no, it is on that yeah, one. Yeah, no, it is. Like it, it is. just kind it's of fades good. in. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. Good. That's the point. How dare you make me have fun on a Friday? I know. <laughs> Friday yeah. fun night. Whoops. Oh, well. Because I know that they do these nights, um, did, and probably still mm -hmm. do at my local game store, which is. Yes, um, many, many Capitol games here, stores there will in have. DC. Yeah. And they're starting to. And they have to, a lot of like beginner you know, games nights, so that's fun. Yeah. They're starting to open doors. Uh, some people are able to do safe social distancing. And everything like that or you know mask requirements etc did i forget to do one of these i did forget to do one of these i'm just gonna leave that in purple we're just gonna you oh know, no because it's just starting to pop out there, there this slot go. she got claws mm -hmm. she got claws mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yes. all righty we are getting there gents you're gonna show you gonna show him just how chaotic you are okay Hello. Look at, oh, I'm liking this a lot. Oh, that was a fun idea. <laughs> yeah, mm. that's a good one. That's a good one. And I love Ooh. that you've gotten so much mileage out of these paints. Like me too. Right. Surprisingly, so so much. mixing and doing even the miniatures. green, even the base green. There's still a time. I'm just. I'm oh, sitting exactly. here like that's it was meant it. to be a red kit, and you have so much green. <laughs> like, and that's just awesome. Like, there's just the ability because you had those little accents of green on the original. Yeah. That's where those all came oh. into play. Oh. So it was just those little accent colors, but because of that, you're able to do a heck of a lot more. Um, uh, oh, local one put up plexiglass partitions. That's smart. The hex lichen is probably what. Oh, those are looking amazing. Take a proper picture because it's hard to see. Yeah, this I was gonna say good. get pictures, yeah, get pictures and share them, and we will okay, feature them. Hold on. Absolutely. Oh, I never did send this one. Whoops. Okay, so we're just focusing on the nails for this one. Pardon me while I take a couple Oh, I can't wait until you see I... Kelsey's. She just sent me a picture. Oh. Uh, this slot has, has gotten into something. Oh, even better. Even better. Very Let me excited. see if I can see. I love how you're sharing okay. this. Okay, so let me... I just put the face ones up and then that? let me do okay. oh no oh i didn't thread them oh, no. properly did i oh no. oh no i did that's lonzo <laughs> okay <gasps> oh that looks so good okay let me give this a refresh yeah, let me add them up real quick here we go okay so yeah we're gonna go to our submission side of things so look at you that you can see the dry brushing happening there that's from your dry brushing okay you have more going I on just here? posted the. You just posted. Okay, okay. mine are. I just away. posted the Manny Petty one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Same. Here we go. Okay. Oh, there's Brian's. Yeah. There's, Brian's. <laughs> there's the nails. Look at them toesies. Look at them toesies. I love it. And here we have. Oh, that looks good too. Oh, your blend is so good. Your blend looks fantastic. <gasps> Great job. Ah. Oh my goodness. First mini. First mini. Hello. 
And then here we got go. her nails did. I just saw the caption got, for your picture. Oh, me it. too. Oh my gosh. Got Amazing. Her nails did. Hello. Amazing. Okay, great. Oh, I'm loving all of this. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna go back to our main event. Now we're gonna be looking at pretty much your slots are done. So what we wanna do is address the base. How dare. Oh How yeah. Dare. She's a mess. Mm-hmm. So yep. we wanna that's, take that's care of the base. That's a lot going on there. Now, what you're going to want to do is you can take this dark sea green, and I would recommend thinning it out a little bit because it is a bit thicker. At least mine is. Um, mine almost looks like ketchup, and that's now, not the good to say. Now, when you say dark sea green, which that's one? Gonna be... That's the gray-looking one. Okay. Yeah, okay. seventy-eight six eight. Yeah. Oh, it was hiding under my. I was like, none of them are called that. It was hiding underneath like four paper towels. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right, so I'm just putting in some fresh, clean water. I'm going to go back to, for mixing purposes, my multi-purpose brush using the non-brush end of the brush. And I'm just going to add a few dollops into some water I have already established in my third free well. Then the blister. Because we're going to put this into So really just one one kind of dollop into some water? Yeah, because you just want to thin it out a bit so it's more, again, like that maple syrup consistency. Because if you notice, there's a lot of texture and grooves in this base. If you go in with a super thick paint, it's not going to go into the recesses as well. Or if you can get it into the recesses, it's going to build it up so much that you start filling it in. Because these are basically acrylic paints. They have a plastic base in them. So as they dry, it hardens. And as it hardens, it will fill in those extra details, which is why it helps having your paints thinned out so that you won't overfill the details and then you can't bring them out later. Which people don't always realize. So that works. Um, Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do first though is I'm gonna take my details brush and I'm going to edge around the feet. Okay, so I have a little bit more control around the feet. And again, I'm gonna do that thing where I'm kind of putting my hands together, anchoring my painting hand against my holding hand. That sounds like a spell. Sure, that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Painting hand? Hand of holding. Hand of holding. And so I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to get the... Essentially, it's a gray. In between the tootsies. Oh, carefully. I'm scared now. Okay, hold on. Just carefully. Just sit there for a second. Hold on, get Oh, the detail okay. works. Okay. Yeah, the detail definitely helps this one. Yeah, because it, we it gets a little tight in between those tootsies. So once I edge around the toes, I then am going in and just painting the edge here. So that'll be pretty much done. And then I'll show you how I'm going to switch to holding this so that you can get the rest of the base painted without your hands being in paint. <laughs> I was wondering. Mm-hmm. And there's a reason why I saved the base for the end of the painting session. And yes, you can absolutely use a mini holder for painting this. I'm working off the assumption that people might be doing this in a store and they don't have all of that accessible. So I'm working with what I have. That'll be like that one person who comes to the pool hall with their own cue mm-hmm. and like uh-huh. they go to paint night at the uh-huh. store and they just whip out this briefcase with like the all the brushes oh, in I'm it sure yeah yeah like step aside kids mm-hmm. <laughs> you're fun at parties <laughs> <laughs> oh i love it okay so here we go so you can see what i've done now is i'm actually using and make sure your hands are relatively clean I'm holding it like this now mm. so that it frees up the base for me, like so. Okay. <laughs> it's actually okay if it's, if it's going a little bit more deeply into the grooves. That's actually a good thing. Um, because... We're going to be doing some dry brushing along the top section of the base texture. No, not the dry brushing. It's my worst talent. No. <laughs> You'll actually find it easier on the base. 
because it's more of that ground texture. It's not like if you have some splotches, it actually works for the ground. Well, the detail is really, because I was really worried about like, I know I splotched a lot mm -hmm. doing the feet and doing the nails. Mm -hmm. So that fine brush, I'm like, I feel so much better. I'm like, I really hope there's a way to cover this up later. Oh, yep, no, <laughs> I, I anticipated it and that was right in the instructions. That's why I make sure to approach this with knowing I'm working with beginners. Whoops. You're also essentially going, oh, a beginner's a la speed paint, if you think about it. Okay, did you get it? Oh no, I missed this one. Yeah, I think I over thinned my, uh, I over thinned the gray, but sorry. The, I had the... to add, I did too. That's I had okay. to add some I, more paint it's, in. I mean, it's not, It'll still work. you know, it's, it will definitely still work. Don't worry. No, it refuses. I refuse. Okay. No. Yeah, it's 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 getting there, and my okay. hands have finally I'm my hands have finally started being like, yeah, we're taking on paint now. Mm-hmm. Ha ha. What the finicky cat in me is not happy right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> you shut up. <laughs> so now that I kind of got this. I I'm going to switch to my multi for the rest of this base because now I have this nicely edged around so I'm not I too worried about a hitting. A little, little more dark sea green to get a little less. Yeah. A little less thin. A little more mm -hmm. flavor. Mm -hmm. And there we go. Makes a little bit of faster work once you have that edged out. No, I like. I also like the paint pots. I I always loved like the watercolors in school, like using right. the, the the open part of the tray uh -huh. to just do all the stuff. I'm like, yeah, I'm I'm happy to make a huge mess this way. Right, exactly. So here we have just with the gray on it. You can see from the top down. Come back to now this does need brush. to dry for a little bit. So I'm actually going to set this over on my paper towel because I don't want to get my target. <laughs> okay, and then we're going to have one last step once this dries a little bit. And then we will be able to call these done. And you're going to want your Beastie Brown. Not your Beastie Boys, your Beastie Brown. Beastie Brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No slide till Brooklyn. <laughs> oh that look that's why i'm looking okay. down so i can't see him looking at me <laughs> so you can see we have going on here our brother slutty just that little difference in the claws those that's mm -hmm. cracking me up just little difference in their claws yeah. like that's fun you just imagine them like, what's up with your claws? Look, some of us like some to have a little self-expression. Okay. Yep, express Oh, but that's a fun alternative option. Yes, this is going to be uh, beasty yeah. brown. So let me it's let you dry. Beastie. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, I put that. Yep, just let it dry a little oh. bit more, and then we'll be calling it good to go and wrapping things up soon. <gasps> uh, so again, if you've been painting with us and you want to show your work. By all Please means, do. get those submissions in on Twitter. Use that hashtag WK Paint Party a three. Uh, but I think while we're letting this dry, what do you say we announce uh, what's gonna happen? A uh, for four. Are we good for four? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So we will be doing more paint parties. Don't forget. Uh, these are something that will be happening about once a month. So with uh, WizKids Paint Party 4, I am thrilled and pleased and honored to announce that for this event, I am going to have the lovely Gabe Hicks and Jennifer Kretschmer joining oh, me yeah. to paint Yay, the so Ogre old. Zombie. Okay, now this is a kit that has already been out in stores for a period of time, which means you may even be able to find this one online, but always check first with your local game store. If you're not sure how to do that, type an exclamation point. Uh, why am I blanking? <laughs> exclamation point local. <laughs> and that will get you 
the link to find out if there is a store near you. And uh, if you want more information about this particular paint party, exclamation point, Wiz WK Paint Party 4. And we will be painting up this fantastic zombie or ogre zombie uh it is a lovely miniature i have painted it before and i cannot wait to have gabe and jen join me as the guests should be a lot of fun and then what you want to make sure you are doing is you're going to join us on august 15th at 1 p.m pacific 4 p.m eastern time on august 15th so i'm pretty much about a month from see now i want a fan even more you're all missing this look what look look what look what brian's doing here Look at that, using the fan, that is so smart. Uh, but basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be painting up one of these guys. So this is one that I've oh, already painted up using the kit. That's so nice. Yeah, so we're gonna be recreating this look with my two very special guests for the next party. Quite frankly, all of my guests have been utterly wonderful and special. And I have had a fantastic time with the two of you tonight to the point where I think we're gonna try and arrange something maybe on my other channels. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, yes. I think I have I, I like have the to... mini bug button, yeah. Do you have while, some reveals? While the bases are drying, show? I have yes. some reveals. Please, please. Um, this first one, I have been told in no uncertain terms that I am to inform uh, everyone that this one was done by someone who is a very talented writer and whose, whose paint is <laughs> usually words, not <laughs> actual paint. That said, I think it looks pretty damn good. I gotta say, this is <gasps> Sam. That's oh, that's nice. That's so it's good. Yeah. He's got, and look at his little, his nice little defined booty. I gotta say, nice. Sam definitely the figured out okay. the dry brushing faster than I did. They, yes, definitely does the squats, looks good. Right, that so that's Sam's. And then this one, this one is a uh, post mm -hmm. post battle. Um, this one has gotten into something. Ooh, oh, I love wow. that tape. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Clever. Look at the base too. So oh this my is gosh. my this Quite is my very very talented artist friend that I've known for thirty years, oh, uh, who did the logo and some art for the podcast, and uh -huh. uh, she's awesome. So this is her. This yeah. Is her oh, post the chat's loving mini. it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so definitely you could put that blood red to use elsewhere. You can even do a little mix of the black yeah. right underneath to get that lovely sinister, gory oh, factor in. Oh, that's lovely. That was clever. I'm enjoying that. Okay, so I think we have... Mine's looking pretty good. How about you guys? Uh, it's looking um, there. I gotta... Sam's got to... Sam, Sam has been following oh. along with us and needs to dry brush his base, so I gotta run this to yes, him. I'll be right so you back. go run oh. him. So it's basically <laughs> gonna be the same thing. Yeah, the Ooh. fan helped. It's, it's all, you know, yeah. there. See, I need to get a fancy fan to dry my minis. I'm liking that. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and we're using Beastie Brown and we're gonna use the multi-purpose brush. And I'm just gonna go, you see all that texture that's on here? Uh-huh. Just gonna go. Oh, so you're just kind of giving it a careful. bit of a get by not the quite paint. It's like somewhere in the middle of paint and dry. Yeah. It, it's, yeah. it's um, which, which color are we use? I'm sorry. Beastie Brown. Beastie Brown, thank you. Yep. Oh wait, is that the pretty that's lightly. a multi-purpose. Yeah, you know, right. Oh no, don't you spill. Be careful around that, but that's going to just give a little hint of dirt. No, it's Stick another around. bubble. Oh, jeez, hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Check it. There we go. When you get near those feet, just careful strokes next to the feet. <clears throat> Phrasing. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. <laughs> <clears throat> I have a really bad habit of um, making a statement, it settles from them, and I go, wait, <laughs> that's not what wait. I meant. <laughs> uh, we had the joy one day of, uh, on Dawnbringers, the cord on my microphone was going, and it made my voice sound really deep all of a sudden. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> and I had said... Um, because we were all joking about how, you know, things were sounding different. I said, well, something certainly dropped. And I meant my voice. However, uh, others well. <laughs> considered something else into which I screamed, wait, that's not what I meant. Wait, and there, no. There are clips of it of, you know, giggling hysterically oh, over it. Oh, of course but yeah. there are. There are times where you're just like, I have to figure out a way to say this and not have it sound the way I know I'm <laughs> going to interpret it. I, sometimes I just lean into it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because you haven't said anything. Everyone else right. said it in their head. Everyone else, right. oh, the sun That's is being right. aggressive. I've got blinds on me now. Uh, oh, no. Everyone else said it in their head. You didn't oh. say anything. 
Yep. You said nothing. Right, right. That's right. So it's the fun of that. So That's you can see like, it's I love, just... I love PG-13 because I'm like, yeah, we can basically, we can make you say the word in your head. We don't have to That's say right. it. That's right. Mm-hmm. We don't have to say it. That's right. Just bring out these little extra details. Careful between the tootsies. Yeah. I'm so carefully avoiding the toes, but I like, because now it's like a kind of a cobbly, gray, muddy. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. that's just it. Right? There we go. Yeah, it's like. Yeah. Okay, it's not coming out here. My hand. Yeah, it really doesn't like any of this, but yes. Uh, no, you really don't. Paint on me now. Hold on. Mm-hmm. No, there's no good. There's no good anything for this, but no, whatever. Take, it's good. I'm, about to, I'm gonna take a picture. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, it's geez. a tricky now one. The sun shows there up. we go. It starts to cast shadows too, the mini itself, okay. even with my lighting. Right. But there you can see what happens when you start putting the beastie brown on top of the gray. And this, that this. pretty much is calling your mini done for this session. Uh, you do have that black disc, which Hit under, hiding under my keyboard. So what I would recommend you do is when this is completely dry, you can then apply super glue style glue, liquid form, not gel. The gel is actually known to disintegrate after a while and break its hold. I never recommend it for miniature assembly or miniature cha- attachments. So using a liquid style super glue, put some on the base, give yourself about a kind of count of 10 to 15 seconds, and then you will just set it atop your black disc leave it there for a couple minutes and then when the time comes you'll be able to lift it up and the disc will be attached and that is how you would apply this to this for the mini Uh, you can also before attaching it to the disc and i always do recommend doing a seal coat uh, you can seal these Uh, there are various uh, suppliers who have their own versions of seal coat they usually come in options of matte satin or gloss Uh, i would recommend doing a matte on this one which is what i did on this fellow he got a matte treatment and as you can see it helps keep that paint from getting too shiny uh with the red i actually went with more of a satin finish because i thought with the red that would be a neat way to make it pop a little bit more so this is a matte that's a satin just to kind of give you frame of reference but yeah these give them a good 24 hours to dry too before you move on to seal coating them that is the other thing i would recommend doing but all said and done these are your first minis, gentlemen. How do you feel? So good. This one doesn't want to take a picture. It's this fine. was a so lot good. of fun. This was yeah. a lot of fun. Awesome. Like Awesome. I'm happy to hear that. Absolutely thrilled that you enjoyed yourselves. Yes. I mean, okay. of course, so but the, yes. No, yeah, I mean, there so was no doubt that I would enjoy myself. Yeah, so think you might pick up a myself, brush but... again. Well, Super I mean, nervous. in terms of painting the mini. Uh, but no, you, you really, for your first miniatures... <laughs> Round of applause, you know. Oh, I think we just had, a, I mean, excellent teacher. Oh, let's let's be honest. That's excellent absolutely structure. right. That's why I just said in that tweet, like, thank you for being Aww. an excellent teacher. Oh, they look so great. I am gonna let's see here. Let me do. I'm gonna switch over to the submissions because we do have. Oh, hey, Icarus, welcome in. There you go. Okay, so I'm putting my I'm putting my finals up now. There's yeah, the, there it that is. That looks so good. <laughs> great job. Thanks. I like him. I think you should. What about names? Oh, and here is Self. Oh. Self has a really cool looking deal going on there. Oh, yes. Good. That purple on the mm-hmm. on the pet bag and the loincloth. I like <gasps> Oh, yes. yeah. That's a fun That's one. That's a good one. It's weird when um, Twitter opens up and it's something I've been trying to play with and it still doesn't play nice for me. Yeah. Um, so there we go with that. And actually, did this shift on me? Shouldn't have. Uh, oh, I see what happened. That would be it. Ta-dum. So you can see we have all these lovely submissions coming in here. And I'm going to do one more refresh. Oh, I'm not done yet. I'm minor coming, but sorry. Oh, I'm seeing if anyone else did. <laughs> okay. So we'll just um, keep it there for a minute. Don't forget, um, these two lovely individuals can be found on their own Twitch channels. We have DM Jazzy Hands and Urban Bohemian. If you type an exclamation point, Herb, It'll take you to all of Brian's socials uh, in terms of Twitter, Instagram, as well as Twitch. Make sure to like, follow, and all that goodness while you are there. If you want to check out Yuja's, then you go to exclamation point Jazzy. Same thing. You have Twitter, you have Instagram, and you have Twitch. They are involved with two fantastic streams, uh, and then some, quite frankly. But uh, you can also take a look at Rivals of Waterdeep by checking out exclamation point Rivals and see what they have going on there uh, where you can watch these two play lovely characters together and don't forget to check out motherlands as well it is a fantastic new game 
I am a huge fan of it. Uh, wonderful story, wonderful characters, fantastic storyteller. As uh, so you go, and also voiceover work. Oh my gosh, I love listening to the beginning. I've got to tell you, it's fantastic. Hello? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So if Hello? you go to exclamation point motherlands, that'll take you to the Twitter account so you can start getting all the information they have to share about this wonderful collaboration between some fantastic individuals in the tabletop community. Uh, don't forget if you want to check out what that code is, exclamation point code for that Electum Chess code, and uh, be sure to see what Idle Champions is all about by going to exclamation point idle and that'll take you to uh, their website i believe if you want to know more about me then that's exclamation point v pretty much straightforward and simple right there and if you want to be able to check out what else whiz kits have to offer you can go to their online stores and go to exclamation point shop D, &D for all things D, D or you can also go to shop whiz kits this is with an exclamation point at the front of these um, and you can check out everything else that whiz kits has to offer um, pre-orders in stock back order and everything like that i think that is pretty much covering all the high you mind notes. if i shout out one absolutely, other absolutely please do so i'm doing uh brian uh, has already participated in this i believe although if you're doing more please let me know uh mm -hmm. but there's a bunch of folks who are working with uh logitech for creators to raise money this month for uh creators for bipoc uh Ooh. and so we've all gotten to pick different uh charities uh that serve different bipoc communities and so next week is my fundraising week with the organization uh so yeah. my uh my link is open starting monday for the whole week but Tuesday and Thursday on my channel, uh, we're going to be raising money for RACES, the Refugee and Immigrant Center Ooh. for Education and Legal Services. Um, so really excited. Logitech is matching donations up to a you know reasonable number. Right, uh, right. And I've got some cool stuff to give away. Uh, so yeah, if you want to uh, see me do non-tabletop stuff, uh, we're going to play some video games and raise some money for RACES next week on my channel. So wonderful so definitely make sure that exclamation point jazzy is being put to use uh really for both because i mean please follow them wonderful content all across the board i thoroughly enjoy seeing what they're up to um and then finally don't forget we're just gonna take one more look at the the lovely reveal uh don't forget save your day yeah. for august 15th yes. where i'm gonna have gabe hicks and jennifer kretschmer joining me as my special guest you want more information on that then that is exclamation point wk paint party a four and we have other guests already lined up for september and october as well and i'll be very excited to uh announce who you can expect at the end of each of the other paint nights i think that about covers everything doesn't it so we have so these lovely slutty laddie. So cute. They're a so slut, Our slutty laddie. Yes, our slutty laddies. Good to go. Slutty laddies, yeah. I had an absolute blast oh, with the yeah, both thanks. of you. There you go. Yes, there you go. Um, I look forward to hopefully getting to do this with you all again. And for everyone in the chat, thank you so much, <laughs> especially to my two moderators. Thank you, Goblin Katie and D&D &D Jordan, Katie and Jordan Lee. Yes. Oh my goodness. Um, please make sure, click on their names, go over, and they too have Twitch channels that I would like you to check out. If you could, please, that would be wonderful. Handles are actually the same, Goblin Katie and D&D &D Jordan Lee over on Twitch. Uh, give them some follows, help them get that bump there too. Um, very much appreciated. You let me focus on helping these two learn how to paint while you were helping yes. out the chat. Really Absolutely. hugely appreciated. So I am going to wrap this up because we've just hit the top of the hour. I'm going to wrap oh, up yeah. the stream the way I like to wrap up all of my streams. And I mean this in all sincerity. Be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. And we'll see you on the flip side. Take care, everyone. Bye. Everybody.